If you could get one thing for Christmas, what do you want? Happiness. Oh. I don't play golf. I've never even hit the golf ball. I've swung probably 20 times in my life. Never hit it once. When I hit it, it hurts. My whole body goes... Like, What's the oldest you would date? Maybe like 40? Damn. 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 <laughs> Welcome back to Under the Influence, the sauciest, juiciest, most delectable show on the internet. Mm, 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 yummy. Anyways, my name is Wu Talk. Which direction are we going? Go to your, go to the left. Yeah, yeah don't be shy. Why am I going no, no, you say your name. Oh, my name is Jeremy. <laughs> and my name. name Eddie? Oh, Eddie. Esther, what's up? Oh, no, my name is Eddie. My name is Esther. My name is Vitrap. And we are sponsored by... Bean Nectar Bar Hard, Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Unique Asian flavors, 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 flavors and no weird aftertaste. aftertaste. And look at the new pack. Go get it. It's delicious. And I think by this time, San Diego? No, we're past San Diego. We're way past. Sure, was we, had fun. A, we had a great time that was so in fun. the future. Hope you guys like the new flavors. Wow. But uh, yes, yeah, so uh, by the time you're seeing this episode, it's going to be Christmas season. It's going to be right, right just about Christmas season. Mm -hmm. We was just ending Thanksgiving season. Literally, mm -hmm. at time of filming, Thanksgiving was yesterday. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had great times, I think. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, Uber robbed Jeremy. Oh how did you get God. robbed oh, by Uber? Uber robbed me on Thanksgiving. This yeah, is, how the, the, this is the crazy story. So we have a lot of big launches that are coming up. And what it requires is we had to get rush shipped some items, some special items. And so like basically they're used for product shoots. And we're on a timeline. We need to and shoot these the product. these are for your company, Nectar Hard Seltzer? Yes, for, okay. the, for the hard seltzer. So uh -huh. these are like dummy packs. So you have to shoot all the products. Brando has to design it. Then we have to send it to the stores to get it approved. Then you have to print a whole bunch of it and you have to spend a bunch of money to get it in stores. So we're on this timeline. You have to make it at these certain deadlines for the holidays. And so uh, I, it's Thanksgiving morning and I call Uber Package. Have you guys used that service before? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, so I call the Uber Package and I'm watching it. I'm, I'm working out my garage and I'm watching it because I'm like, this is a very important package. It has to get there. And the guy pulls up. I'm waiting for him in the driveway. He doesn't get out of his car. I walk over to his trunk holding the two boxes and I knock on the trunk and he pops it open and I put it in. And as I'm walking away, uh, he goes, hey, he rolls down his window and he's like, hey, so somebody going to be waiting for me on the other side? Because, you know, they're very like annoying about that. And I was just like, I gave him a thumbs up. I was like, yeah. And he goes, is somebody going to be waiting for me on the other side? He's kind of like, like kind of pressing me. And, I, and I'm, yeah, I'm like, okay. I said, hey, I put my friend this information all in the app so you could call him and he will be waiting for you on the other side and he's like okay rolls up the window he drives off and as i'm walking back to the driveway i share the trip with with brando on who's waiting for it on the other end and i go back to working out all of a sudden 10 minutes later brando calls me and he goes dude the guy just canceled the trip i'm like what the fuck i'm like are you sure you didn't just drop it out go check outside maybe you got your ass he was like there's no way <laughs> What the fuck happened to you? What the hell? That the Vietnam. What the hell? My hair. That the, the, the Vietnam is crazy. He went from Vit to Vietnam. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait, you, you look hella funny like that. Yeah. <laughs> In my glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. your story though. This is bad for retention. So, so I'm like, I'm like freaking out. These are like important things. We had to get these items rushed shipped to us. There's all these deadlines. It's like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of investment that is sits behind these packages just getting to Brando. And so I'm like, what? He goes outside. He's like, dude, it's definitely not outside. And so I use Uber app to try to get in contact with the driver. And they don't give you the direct number. It's like goes through the app. Doesn't pick up, obviously, because he robbed me. So I call the Uber safety line. And this is like the only way to get a human on the phone quickly. And these are for like if you're getting like, you know, sexually harassed by your driver. Getting traffic. Yeah, yeah. Like something dangerous. Finally, somebody picks up. But Uber uses basically other countries to run their their um, their customer support. So this person's not in, clearly not in America, super broken English. And I'm like, yo, the, the driver just robbed me. Like, you need to call the driver. And I explained the whole situation. She's like, okay, okay, let me see what I could do. Stay on the line. She's like, stay on the line for like three to five minutes. Waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Gets back on the line. She goes, okay, so we talked to driver and the driver was like, uh, he said that nobody was waiting for him out. No, first, first she said, the driver first said that you never gave him the, or, or there was no package in his car. And then he said, she said, 
He said that nobody was waiting for him, which is why he canceled the ride. I'm like, which one is it? Like, did he not have it? Like, obviously, if nobody yeah. came out, there would be no package. Why, why would you why would drive a no package order? Yeah. And why would you? Why would you lead? Why would you lead with that in the first place? Versus just saying nobody was waiting for me. There was no package. Versus saying, oh, uh, there's no package in my car, and there was nobody waiting for me. And so I'm like, yo, get this. Put me on a three way call with the guy. He's not gonna lie when I'm on the phone with him, right? There's no. There's no fucking way. He's. You're gonna hear it in his voice. And, and she was like, no, sorry, it's against company policy. I'm like, in any other situation, I wouldn't care really about this package disappearing, but I need you to put me on the phone with the driver. Like, this is crazy. There's so much that rides on this for my business. And she was like, no, now you got to submit to the help. Like, super unhelpful. They send me an email later. So I go to TikTok and I make a whole video about the situation and the video is going crazy viral. But I'm, I'm super angry in the video. I'm like, I'm like, I hope your turkey is dry. I hope you choke on that shit. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> His name, oh my God. Dude, he, dude, here's the crazy thing about it. Here's the crazy thing about it. The dude, I have his picture. Pop it on the screen, editors. This is Eduardo. And not only that, I have- Fuck you, Eduardo. Fuck you, Eduardo. Fuck you. I'm not Eduardo. Oh, yeah, you're Eddie. I was about to- Yeah. I was about to start swinging. I have his driver's license. I have his license plate number and his car. So the only way Uber would- First, oh, here's here's the sting. If you see this man, throw eggs at him. No, just ask him to give me back my packages. I needed that shit. So, so- Here's the here's the sting, the sting. First of all, they charged me a five dollar cancellation fee. Oh, that's crazy. And I was like, they wouldn't even refund that. And the second sting is they're like, okay, we submitted it to Uber Safety. They send me this email that says, We contact the driver. The driver said he thoroughly searched the car and your items are are not in it. If you'd like what to go further, you have to file a police report. It's like Am I really gonna like file up like do it? I, Fuck no, Eduardo. I did. No, 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 I had to to then go to Uber to be like, I want my five dollars back, and this guy fucking stole from me. <laughs> Fire that. Yeah, but it was the but it, it all that fucking bullshit, and it's like, how are you gonna be a billion dollar company? Like, imagine if it was my grandma's ashes. Like uh-huh. to me, that has tons of value, but uh-huh. like. In, like monetarily it's not that expensive yeah. and the guy just puts it in his car and then goes cancels the trip and says oh, I never got it like that's a crazy situation yep. it just goes how broken that app is and now because of that shit now food delivery drivers Amazon they have to take a photo so I was hoping my video would go viral enough where people would be like yeah Uber fix that shit like, wait you didn't so- put a code it doesn't matter about the code. I put Brando's contact the information. The dude fucking canceled the ride midway. What yeah, do you drove, mean code? Drove if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, you can't cancel when there's a code involved. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't you know just, about that. Wait, you mean like a code that... Um, yeah, that the other person has to Like say you can't cancel it without a code. Like yeah, it it's will, usually the last four digits of your nah, phone number. No, you can make it up. You make oh, up really? the yeah, code. Yeah, it's, it's a random code each time. Yeah, but so so the other thing too is I had to... Uh, I had... Uh, what I would recommend anybody do out there that uses Uber Package because they're scumbags is film. If you do trust that app still, film your film yourself, film the driver putting your items into the car because that's the only way to protect yourself. And add a code. Yeah, fuck add a code, that guy, add a code. Eduardo. Yeah, that's Eduardo, fuck you. I have your photo, man. Like, why would you steal from me? It wasn't even that, like... Monetarily, it's, it's like nothing that you could make money off of. You just lazy piece of shit. Yeah, I think he just didn't like you, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you get ass. the video back up or no? No, I have to like edit out probably. Then, then why would we put his fo- his photo up again? Why? No, no, it's not about on, the photo. Now it's on, now it's on YouTube. Yeah. Isn't it, it's not about the photo? Like, isn't that the reason why it got flagged oh, down maybe. for bullying? I mean, maybe we don't put the photo. No, no, no. It's, it's harassment because I was like, I was like, you look like you've never felt the touch of a woman. I fucking <laughs> hate you. you said Damn. That. Yeah, yeah. I thought like I was. Can I, was I see angry. this video afterwards? Yeah, you can see the video. Yeah, I want to see. Can we play, play the video on screen? That sounds yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was heated. But dude, the comments, everybody was like, dude, Uber, like tagging Uber, like this is crazy. Yeah, like, fuck and people you, were Uber. writing their stories of. They've been scammed by Uber package. And it's like the craziest thing is you just don't get your package. No. I mean, people are like, Sue, it's like, am I going to, like, the effort of Sue, like. Yeah, you're not going to win. Unless it costed you millions. Anyways. Exactly, but. Yeah. Fuck you. So, yeah. So, we're Team Lyft now. Really? Yeah. Lyft does the same thing with packages too? Yeah, yeah. How come nobody uses Lyft Lyft package? I I never heard someone using Lyft package. Here's how I'm going to get Eduardo back. I'm going to somehow figure out one of his routes. I'm going to put drugs in the package and he's going to cancel the ride and then I'm going to call the cops on him. (laughs) And be like, yeah, that guy's got a pound of... You know, I've always thought about that. Have you guys ever bought drugs through Uber package? What? What? Has like a drug dealer ever sent you drugs through Uber package? No. Talks like, have you ever... 
<laughs> I've never, but I've hypothetically, never. I've, I've, have you? No. <laughs> he but is I, the Uber driver. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> but I feel like that's like a genius way to send drugs. I'll be honest. Um, I have friends that have sent like small amounts. Friends, huh? Yeah. yeah. Someone who isn't me. But that's what I'm saying. I'm like it, like a little little rock of Molly, you know what I'm saying? Like a little, <laughs> a little fucking, rock of Molly. A little yeah. fucking one kilo rock of Molly. Like well, well, I mean, a fucking boulder. <laughs> I didn't that's necessarily like do this, but like a, right a, a hard drive just because Brando wanted to make sure the driver didn't have any idea to think of stealing anything. He just put it in something super benign. Like that's he made what I'm it, saying. I made could, it look lame as fuck, I you could, know? I could cut open a teddy bear and shove it full of bobane and then fucking... Um, and send, then send it off. Yeah, and yeah. send it to my fucking... My little nephew or some shit, you know? Little and, nephew? They don't know where it's going. You're giving blow bang like, to your little I'm nephew? I'm like, please, Uber package driver, take my take my teddy bear oh, to my nephew. Oh, your nephew. But it really, and then there's some grown man like, <laughs> with a beard. It's a raging party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I've always thought that. I'm like, I feel like it'd be so easy to send drugs in an Uber package because it's fucking, you could put it in something else. That's so true. You could just tie a box closed. Maybe like, that's how I like, get back box. Uber package. Yeah, fuck Uber I'd package. Take down the whole system. What are you going to do if, if, a, if they steal it, though? Call the cops on them. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that would be exactly what he wants to have. You have their name, their address, and their license plate, and their right. face. Um, so it's just recently been Thanksgiving. Um, I'm very thankful that you got your package stolen. But no, I'm kidding. What the? <laughs> no, but I, I mean, I, uh, what, did, what did we all do? Did you guys spend time with family or no? No, not this year. You did not? Yeah. You did not? You did not? Uh, I spent a bit. That's family. That's, That's family. cute. That's Wait, cute. what'd you guys do? We we ate. Okay. What uh, else man, did you, you guys suck. do? What the, we, we, we with ate. each other? We, we, Just we, uh, uh, well, we went to each my, other out. We went to my uh, my my friend's uh, apartment and uh, we just ate food and then Vit dipped and then I just I stayed there, got a little lit and then I dipped. Why'd you leave? I felt like an outsider. Aww. Oh. Well, he was the only Asian in there. Really? Oh. Yeah, really? Were they playing like salsa music and no, shit? I was just like they were talking about like memories and shit, and clearly like I, I just was not. Why would you to talk about memories? And talking to the mic. Yeah. Why? Why would you? Why would you talk about memories in front of him? What's wrong what the with fuck? you? They were just. It, it was their first time. It was. Oh, it was Brian's for, uh, family's first time visiting, so they were naturally gonna catch up. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> we're kidding. kidding. Hey. Hey. How hey. dare you? How dare yeah. you catch up with your old friends? Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> Vitz at the end of the table, and he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I mean, Vit took back. He doesn't like turkey anymore. I do not like turkey. That's crazy. I think I had turkey once in my life at, at the Sweet Teas last year. I think Logan, there. yeah, I think Logan just over seasoned the fuck out of it, and then it was wet. They just don't look like they can cook a turkey. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't expect. So them in to. in in Logan making the turkey wrong, it, it turned good. out better in my taste. Oh. And I had like actual turkey, and that shit was so dry and ass. Turkey's so dry. The best way to make turkey, uh, we went to a friend's house, and it was smoked. Oh yeah, oh. smoking anything is fucking gas. Yeah. So I spent some time with family, and um, it wasn't. Yeah, I'm a better family member than you got. No, well, my dad <laughs> ran off on us. Huh? 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 What? Anyways, <laughs> so I I spent time with my uncle's family, and he like. They do it with like two other Asian families, and it was very like, m like growing up. I never, my families never did anything like super like gathery, right? But so then they do it every holiday, and so I went with them, and you know something that was reminded to me was you know how like Asian families love like bragging about their like family members, like what they're doing if they're succeeding or if they're winning in life. It's like oh like. My niece on this side just graduated from Harvard and now works at Samsung and is making this much. Like everyone's just flexing, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's always like the gossip, like the family gossip of like, what's the, what's what's the, this person doing? Oh, like how's this person? Oh, she's not married. That's crazy. Oh, she got fat. Oh my god. Like you know that type of mm -hmm. shit. But <laughs> so then. My uncle's obviously like parading me around like this is my nephew. Like how many followers you got? Yeah, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was hilarious. Modern day clout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they understood that. Yeah, no, they get it. And oh. then and then so it was like um and then obviously they have all their kids and then like I was like, you know, talking with their kids and their kids get it. But does any of those those kids watch the podcast? No, I don't think so. I think that some or at least they didn't say it to me, but a lot of like my cousins' friends watch the podcast. My cousins Friends brought super super recovery to a party, and they're wow. like, "Dude, this shit really works." <laughs> and I'm like, "You think I would lie to you? You think I would stake my whole name on a product if I was lying to you?" 
But um, possibly. But, but anyway, so my I bring this like so I come to this thing. I bring Portos. I bring McAllen, eighteen year old Sherry Oak Cask. Y'all oh, know nothing wow. about that. They was loving me. They was like, thank God. And then I brought some wine. And anyway, so then they're like, it's literally like a fucking. I just it just like clicked in my mind where it's like there's a hierarchy of what is impressive to Asian mm. families, right? So my my aunt was like one on my aunt's side because my uncle is the one that's related to my mom. So on my aunt's side, like one of her nieces is like, you know how Samsung is like the gold standard of like a job in Korea? Yeah. yeah. So she just like got some crazy position at Samsung and is like, so she's like bragging about that, obviously. And there's like br- family bragging going on. But then like the, the follower thing was like the Trump card <laughs> where, they, where they was gassing me crazy. Oh, the, uh, influencer was yeah, up yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause that, wow. cause it that's, wasn't, that's a new, that's a new update. Yeah, cause it's so rare. And it's also like, wow, this guy looks really cool. Like, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't come with, like, glasses on and, like, a button-up shirt. You know Did what I'm saying? Did you just call yourself cool? No, they were, they were calling me uh, cool. Th- they said that? And then, sure? and then they're like... Every single person said that, Esther. They, I'm super cool. Hey, they put the videos up and he's like, me, <laughs> me. <laughs> and they're just like... <laughs> he was playing one of my videos at the thing, one of the one of the people, but it was a super juice video. Thankfully, that's a, that's a tame one. That's an educational one. I'm doing like science and shit in that shit. Yeah. Did you know this might be like you might have not known this, but I am the prize in my family. I just yeah. I would to never know that there. actually. Okay. Yeah. No. Never yeah. in a million years would I have guessed that. Yeah. Never. It's true. Wait. Why'd they chase you out the crib then so early? Why does everyone else live at the house? Because I have money. Oh. Uh. I am the prize. <laughs> They were like, Esther, you're the only one that could live out. So I said, all right, I'll leave. <laughs> I, I did. I did do that. I said, fine, you're right. It's time. But you're also the only girl. Usually that is the, 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 tr- the treasure of the family. No, I'm one of the boys, they say. Oh, uh, yeah. The strongest. You are, you are one of the boys, low-key. You guys drink hard seltzer? We do. Yeah, we do. But most of them are gross. We are. True. We got that weird aftertaste. Yeah. Ours is very, very clean Asian flavors, which no one's doing. Okay. Yeah. First one, Asian pear. Did you say Asian hair? Asian pear. Oh. Hair. I got Asian hair. I was going to say, I'm like... <laughs> Wow, that's really actually good. Really good. You like it? I'm really picky. Really? What do you I normally like drink? This one's lychee. None. I used to drink the fruit punch trulies, and then eventually I'm like, okay, they're gross. Got over yeah. It, yeah. There you go. I'm sure you hear the pear is really good. Pear and lychee are top two by yeah. far. Well, I appreciate you guys trying. It was really good. Actually, yeah. we'll, take, we will take this. Hey, you'll take a box? Absolutely. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, do you mind if I use your reactions? No, I don't mind. Uh, Great. I would have been gayer if I was just like... <laughs> oh, is it on? <laughs> It was so good. So yeah, so anyways, they're talking about like doctors in the family. Somebody's going to Harvard. But then the, the famous card, well, I was like, ooh, this is finally. I was like, I've been a disappointment all my life. And now my family gets to use me to brag. They're like, let's see your bank account. He's like, just look at my followers. No, no, no. I showed them the, the business bank account. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I don't pay myself a lot personally, but the businesses do well. I feel like that does trump it because no one else does it. Yeah, it's the most exciting, and it's and, like, and I still make more money than like the Samsung girl or like whatever. So it's like, <laughs> Wuchaka's like, <laughs> <laughs> and also what's funny is the Samsung girl was when I was six years old and my uncle was getting married. We were both like the ring bearer flower girl combo. Cause she was my age and we're children. They're like shoving each other down the aisle. Yeah, and I don't remember her at all. She's like, oh, do you remember this girl? I'm like. I was six. I know, no, I don't remember that. Wait, girl. How old is she? She was. She's a year younger than me, so I guess she's twenty-seven uh, now. So that. Samsung girl was the best one outside of you. Then who was three? No, no, there was other. I just joined the conversation late, but you could hear from like uh, I'm eating with the kids. They put me on the kitty table. <laughs> Makes but, uh, sense. And it's funny, like I'm there with like a gigantic glass of wine, like eating it. And it's like there's like apple juice. They're not kids. They're like twenty, early twenties. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then like, fucking. Um, and then you would just hear from the room like names and they know the names. I don't know who they're talking about, right? Mm-hmm. So they're like, oh, they're talking about this person now. Oh, it's like your turn to get gossiped about. Like, Oh, the- you don't know your cousins that well? I know my cousins. I don't know their, these are family oh, friends. They're not oh, related to oh, me, the other got families. It, got it. So then we who, could just hear it. Who else was a hot job? Like who I else got I didn't. Shine? I don't know. So, cause I didn't know them, but there you could just hear them being like, this person's doing this now, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Outside of being famous, what would you think would be like? Doctor is obviously a hitter. Doctor's in the Asian number. Community. So I, if we're gonna do the Asian bragging rights hierarchy, I'm gonna start with number five. Engineer oh. of any kind. Software engineering. Any type okay. of engineering. I think that Asian people love that shit. Mm. But then mm. number four, pharmacist. 
Really? You're going to yeah. put... No, I would say pharmacist is five. Engineer is above that. Okay, so if then you pharmacist like, five, engineer four. I would put an engineer higher in mine. Yeah. Because you could same. be like, Google. You work on that Google. Oh, okay, Google and Everyone Facebook. Knows Google. I would say that's third. Engineer's engineer? third. Yeah. Okay, so if you're an engineer, but you could work at Google, be like marketing. I would say two, actually. Engineer? Yeah. Over what? Because engineer is like... What's your take? You don't you don't agree lawyer, with that? Number, number one and two are lawyer and doctor. You put lawyer number one? I would not put lawyer. I'll put lawyer number two. Yeah, I'll put doctor number one. I'll put lawyer number... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm switching my ranking now after this. So it's doctor number two, Insane. lawyer number three, engineer of any kind working at big tech company number four. Okay. Pharmacist number five, because it's also common and like that's why I pick pharma- pharmacist. Mm-hmm. Number one is if you're famous of any kind. <laughs> like, hey, well, you pharmacists have, if you have followers, if you're a musician, if you're an actor or anything, like they, they eat that shit up. Decently successful. Yeah. What I used to want to be a pharmacist, actually. What about if you're just like rich? Like they just love rich, you know? No, if you're no, like, because, yo, I have business. Like businessman. Oh, business. Business. No, I've noticed that even if you are successful, you have to be mega successful for your business to matter more than being a doctor. You can make millions of dollars a year selling fucking eyelashes and oh, it would true. still barely amount to like you being a surgeon. But what about like- It's a title, honestly. It's literally, like, The it's title, title doctor is just, it's just so prestigious. Yes. It's just, it doesn't even matter if you're yeah, a, a, a kid's ch- doctor, you're a doctor. Yep. What about a- fuck, That's actually probably so one of the best doctors what, Oh, what about a No, CPA. plastic surgeon. Shit easy. Plastic surgery oh, yeah, is yeah, number yeah, yeah. one, yeah, Plastic man. surgery. What about CPA? Like Hell a, no, the fuck? Who the fuck is proud of their child for being a CPA? That's like the I think that'd be out. over pharmacist. Hell no. Pharmacy no CPAs are better. smart, CPAs though. make like smart, but you, half a million bucks. No, dude, pharmacy CPA. is way... In Asian, I ain't never heard nobody being like my child a CPA and bragging about that shit. That's true. Or just they make money. Nah, not they work, all CPAs They work at money. KPMG. Not all CPAs make money. Do Hispanic families do that or no? Completely different dynamic. What is it? I mean, there's definitely like the still the hierarchy. I think in, in any like the uh, bragging rights. Yeah, in, in terms of the bragging rights, I think in any culture, doctor, lawyer, those are always bragging rights. Um, famous is not really a thing. Like, at least it's like for, it's not common at all. So I think maybe across the board, famous is very cool. Yeah, it's like number one because yeah. it's not common. Nobody, yeah. nobody does that. Shit. I think what's more typical is uh, uh, is starting their own business and to see if that business is doing well. Mm. So what you guys. You guys, we, no. you people. Um, oh my <laughs> I'd say you guys like, were friends. I'm just joking. I think typically it'd be be like uh, those. Uh, what do you, what do you call those trade 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 work? Mm, like what? Mm. Like plumbing, electrician. electrician mm. You know, it's so like if you started your own company or worked in under somebody, but then like uh, came off and then started your own stuff. Uh, so stuff like that. Is so then, does it matter well. more like the amount you're making for bragging rights, or like I think more it's more so about, like if you're doing something at all? I think it's more of like if, if like so. For example, let's say if one Thanksgiving family meets and then you hear about this person working under like this plumbing company, right? And it's like, oh, he's doing well. He's whatever in the job. And then like two, three years later, you see him again. And now he started his own plumbing company. Mm-hmm. That it seems like more of a bragging, right? It's like, oh, I climbed the ranks to the point that I could start my own business. Yep. And then whether that business is doing well or not, I mean, you know, that's a whole nother question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then I think it could be more seen like as time goes on, especially with like what material things you have with you. Yup. So material things also matters a lot. So it's like, oh, he, oh, he started his own business. Cool. But it's like, what, what car is he riding? Like what, what type of the presents are he's giving out? Yep. What did he bring in Thanksgiving? Like, yep. so th- that's just like, kind of just more like, I don't need to say more about my business because everything about my life is kind of already like, yeah, showing talking that. about like, what, 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 what's my quality of life? Yep. Yeah. That's Where people one. will talk shit is like, you're saying how well your business is doing, but nothing in your life is showing that. Yeah. You, you pulled up to Thanksgiving with a $20 bottle of wine while everyone else brought food and they're supposedly doing worse than you what, um, it's kind of yeah. sad actually it's super judgmental we all do it you know we it's all super immediately, judgmental yeah. but and, and that's why i'm like i've known like family reunions it's a lot about flexing on each other like mm. it, and not even family because they're not all family they're like so like my aunt and one of the ladies were like literally f- friends since they were four years old so that's why that they all meet and then there's like she's the connected there's three families there but it is a lot of, and it's like still good times and everything. The kids are all friends, but it is like there's a flex war. Cause I'm even thinking of my own family shit situations. 
my family name? doesn't, they don't really flex, but the one thing that my mom used to like verse my aunt about was having kids. So More kids <laughs> or know, better yeah. kids? No, no, listen. So, so my aunt had a daughter uh -huh. and then my mom had twins. And then afterwards- Wait, you have twin brothers? Yeah. And then after that, my aunt had a son and then my mom had me. And then my aunt had a daughter and then my mom had a son. Mm. And then after that, my aunt oh, had so a son. Weird, yeah, weird so battle. It's literally child for child, yeah, child exa for child. Yeah, exactly. And then so, weird battle. Yeah, and then eventually my mom won, so Damn. she got the trophy. So did you have to like fight her daughter to like see who was the better uh, offspring? No, she's better. She's better? Yeah, she's smarter than me. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> But, but I'm is she as funny as you? No, nobody is actually. Oh. I've aunt, never met. The, the aunt's like, yeah, you got weak ovaries. Like that's her, that's her diss. <laughs> <laughs> Your I, egg's not quality yeah. enough. <laughs> well, I got the extra one. I got hey, the wait. free range joints. Wait, did, is your necklace causing a rash on your no, neck? No, no, that was me scratching the shit out of my neck. Oh, Ooh. okay. I have a question. I don't know if it applies to you guys. Uh -huh. um, but so... Another thing is, while I was growing up, I realized that like a lot of my younger cousins and I would talk a lot of English. Like we'd be kind of far removed from like our native language, and so as I've grown up and I've like see family, um, I'm much more attentive to the to the older family, and I'm speaking a lot more Spanish. And I, I think that in itself is incredibly like impressive because it's like mm. you you went from like not yep. trying to talk the language to making an effort to actually ask how, how they're doing and then that in itself is incredibly impressive to them yep. Max. caring is, is yes. a big factor and like being able to speak is definitely the no sabo kids is very common nowadays yeah that's As true you exhibit a i'd say of all the five of us you're the Not only me. no sabo kid oh true oh, and tristan Tristan is white. He speaks his native tongue. Yeah. No, French. You know, he goes up there, he's like, waste man. And he's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tristan's Canadian. Smoke that youth. Yeah, like, you leave your moms in the hood? If the business is true, <laughs> you leave your moms in the hood? Smoke that, that youth. But anyways, yeah, you're Sick the only one that... Uh, yeah. yeah. And that's, I, could, I could speak it. And you know, the business thing, like, proves true, because Nectar is, like, a pretty successful business, right? Like... Revenue in the in is up there, right? It should be a flex, but I promise you, if he was a doctor, even if he was like a pleb doctor, like in residency, they would be fucking eating them up way a thousand times more. Wait, what about nurses? Are they not <laughs> Hell no. considered? Oh. It depends on the standards of the family, actually, in my opinion. Some families, I think nursing is, is prestigious, and then a lot of families, I think, would be like, oh, why are you not a doctor? The yeah, fuck? Because my Filipino friends, uh -huh. they're like, if you're not a nurse, you're not there. At least the nurse. I'm sure the doctor would be yeah, above, right? Yeah, of course, right? of course. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I was thinking like top five. Man, will you not maybe, maybe because yeah. isn't there a lot of Filipino <laughs> nurses? Yes. So that's a thing. It's more like a standard. Yeah, it's, it's like a standard. standard. It's like yeah, it's a standard. standard. It's like, if you're oh, not yeah. there, then it's so, like... I don't think it's bad, obviously. It'd probably be like, oh, cool. Like, you know. Yeah, but, you had a comment about my business. I was trying to make a comment. In my family, they actually don't care about that because my uncle just came out the mud and he's like a very sex successful entrepreneur. <laughs> so that... Sexful? Successful? He's sexful. How do you know that your uncle is sexful? You spent a lot of time in his You're basement? You're disgusting. Why would you talk about my uncle like that, man? Who talked about your uncle like that? No, Nasty listen. boy. Um, but I have a family of entrepreneurs, so they respect my, my, respect my grandma. grandma. They just my saw dude. Jeremy in the wig and they're like, yeah, oh, could get business. Gotcha. <laughs> Only pens, uh, <laughs> my, my grandma, and I'm trying to find the original logo. Her first successful business in South America was a clothing brand called Kim Star. And it was the sickest. It's like Kim with like a star. And uh, I could see it being like a. That sounds like your business idea for me and my brother. Like a, when you were like the Woo Brothers or oh, something. Yeah. yeah. The logo was sick. I got to find the old Kim Star logo. I'm going to bring <laughs> it back. Just pop smoke t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, and I definitely think that the material thing is so true because so they were true. definitely checking out the car I brought. They were like, "Oh yeah, what what model is it?" Not oh, that really? great. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. Like, the car matters. And then I brought Macal an eighteen year old, which everyone was loving, obviously. And I like, and I knew that. I knew the game I had to play. I was like, "All my life, I've been a disappointment. I can't wait to help my uncle flex right now." Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, you know, you did it for your uncle, yeah, basically. Yeah. 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 I mean, I drank a lot of that scotch. Me and my uncle were pounding that and shit. And you know how you really take them over the edge is if you tell them you play golf. 
I don't play golf. No. I I've never even hit the golf ball. I've swung probably twenty times in my life. Never hit it once. Yeah, don't I, tell them that. When it when it when I hit it, it hurts. Like my whole body goes to like, uh, like I, what I the fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, it's just like the vibration of like the metal hitting that ball. I'm like. It's like, I'm like, it's like one of those weird uh, feelings, like nails golf. on a chalkboard yeah. to you. Well, it's like, not playing golf oh, so, at all. Oh, so you know, it, I don't even realize, but in riding baseball, a <laughs> in baseball, the reason that they have those gloves and they they do like the ah. aluminum bats is because the vibration of you hitting oh. that at yeah, such shot. a speed oh, yeah. literally makes your arms go. Like, no, yeah, baseball, that shit hurts. That's, that's shit some hurts. cartoon shit, though. You know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes, no, no, yeah, 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 exactly. That's that reminds me of like Drake, the type of guy, type of memes where it's just like him doing like cartoon. Pie, he's over here floating. Yeah. <laughs> there, was some, there was some video of Drake boxing, and he boxes like this. Ew. <laughs> he's like swinging with his neck back. <laughs> and somebody commented, "Like man's got all the money in the world for the best trainers and boxes like that." <laughs> Mr. Vitrap, how do you, uh, you are you feeling down because it's the holiday season, or what's up with you? Yeah, yeah. I do you not so, want to talk man. about it? We can skip over that. We can talk about it. Yeah. I just feel. I'm I'm like out of it today because I literally one you guys made me wake up pretty early. Motherfucker, that, okay, everyone, you know what time it is right now? It is one fifty six p.m. <laughs> yeah, but I woke up at ten, um, and then I took a shower and I broke down in the shower. What? Why did? What was the thoughts there? Holidays is the same shit. I said I, I just feel like an outsider, and I've always felt like an outsider. Mm -hmm. Um, even with us. Not so much like like you guys are there for me as friends, and I always appreciate that. But everybody kind of has, the, and I don't. That's why I said I don't think it's just the holidays. It's been lingering in my mind for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But everybody has like the like like everybody kind of has their pair, like you and Eddie. <laughs> oh, and and yeah. I know, I know, I know. But like you guys have known each other way longer, right? Yeah, uh -huh. you guys are way closer than we. Like we've only known each other a year, uh -huh. and thank hey, I God. like you better though. <laughs> but it's, it's, I think it's it it's just that has always stuck with me, and um, yeah, the whole no family thing. Like, no, I don't think anything will ever fix that. Yeah, but also, why is it got to be pairs? Like, yeah. we're we're a, we're a group. I also like Jeremy more than Eddie. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't hey know. man, hey you man, like we the ice boys. You like me more than Eddie? You up there? You up there? You close? Come on, you you know what you was walking into that one. <laughs> You know what she was doing. And you're complaining nobody here <laughs> likes me. <laughs> no, no, I like you. In my life, you're probably the closest, like, girlfriend that I have. But, like, I'm a misogynist, so the men always come first. Okay. Yeah. Hey, when it comes to Guys, food, I was just kidding. I am not a misogynist. When it comes to you food, love giving massages. you're the person I would ask anything about. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> okay, actually, that's fine. Yeah, I'll but take it. so yeah, but why do you? Why do you, in your mind, pair it off like that? And then I feel like your mind is purposely excluding yourself. Yeah, that's what I. I think so. It might also be that. It's I don't know. It's um. I think it's deeply rooted that it's, it's shit I gotta work through. It it, we it gotta feels call Victoria like Victoria song back, huh? Victoria song gotta come back. Maybe it it it. I think it's the same feeling. Like my whole life has been um. If I could equate it to anything, I get in moods where I feel like I'm still in my living room, looking out the window, looking at the other kids play. Mm. Like that's the best way I can describe it. It's like I'm like I'm window shopping for a family. But okay, so then what about like that's weird to me, but it feels that way with us because you're included in everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because remember, I'm not gonna mention the name, but remember that friend of ours that said that about our groups. Where they were like, you guys, everyone has their group they belong to, and I get invited to everything, but I still don't. I'm not like out there working with you guys, like blah blah blah, right? Yeah. Like we're all on the same no, boat. No, it's, it's not like yeah, it's it's not us as a friend group. It's more yeah. like I think I worded it wrong. It's like I like the only thing I have is friends. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I have no family. Like mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. my little sister, we don't have a relationship. My mom, we like we we talk way less now. Mm. I think she's just stressed out right now too. Mm. So, <clears throat> can I ask a question? Uh, so, I mean, do you want to get closer to your sister? Or is it like just is it tough for you guys to talk? Or it's it's pretty tough because most most of the time, like when we talk, it's more. It's almost like like everything we went through. Every time we talk, we're just kind of both reminded. Yeah. So it's like okay. So then here, here's another question because. Uh, you, the last time you saw her was in Iowa, right? 
Um, what about maybe Christmas time? I'm probably gonna fly them out here for. That's the, what I'm saying. Like event. change the scenery because mm. like you're in the area that you know has brought a lot of negativity and perhaps a change of scenery because obviously you moving away from Iowa and moving here, your your life has changed for the better. Yeah. Now I'm not saying move them here, but at least have them visit and then have a new scenery where that doesn't have ties to your past, and then hopefully that can begin to. Yeah, no, I'm probably gonna fly them out. That's here. a good yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah. That is a good. But one. even 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 with that, like seeing them, like we're never gonna have the uh, like the picture picture perfect family or whatever. I wouldn't say that never, but it just. It, also, it's like not necessarily like I don't have the picture perfect family. Yeah, like, nobody has a picture perfect exactly. family. Exactly. It's just more yeah. like it's just it's just your family. And mm -hmm. and remove the picture. The frame is what you want it to be. <gasps> it's nice. Nice one. That was hard. Yeah, I don't know. I dropped that shit. I was like, damn. <laughs> but but yeah, overall too, like, you know, in my family, I've never we weren't close either. Like I had to be the one to force us to create the situations and to lead everyone's mentality of like, let's be purposeful and building relationships with each other. And you know, that like, there are times where I felt like, like, you know what I mean? Like I'd never, like I saw my brother like once or twice a day, we would just exchange a couple words, not talk. My mom's working all the time. And then like when we would talk, it would just be nagging and bickering. Right. So it was like, just like, what kind of a family is that? And you're the only two that I have really. But then when I started to be purposeful, and like putting in real work and like somebody has to lead that charge. Right. And like for me being the oldest son, like I feel like that was my responsibility. And so I led the charge and now me and my brother and my mom are super close. And like, you know, it's something that I'm very thankful for, but it was really hard and it was, you have to be very purposeful and I had to shoulder a lot of burden and feel like why I like, I'm putting in all this effort regardless of what you're doing. And you kind of got to like lead that, you know what I'm saying? So like, you can't expect your sister to want to reach out and talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be the one to reach out. Your sister might be giving you the cold shoulder, but I promise you, she's going to want a family too. Like, one yeah. person has to do it. Somebody's got to yeah. be the one to fix it. Like, mm -hmm. so, and, and at the end of the day, like, your mom is from an older generation. Like you said, she's stressed. She has shit going on, right? You got to make it easy for her to just plug in and just exist there rather than, like, kind of, you know what I'm saying? And it's very easy to be like, you know, I should have just been born into a family that already had those structures. But at the end of the day, it's usually the dad that makes that happen. Yeah. And for both of us, I think that there was a, a father figure missing. So, and you're the, you're the firstborn son. So yeah. you're now the next masculine role model to take over that role. My father's missing too. Where'd he go? I don't know. Somewhere in Korea. Went to get he milk. He said bye bye. He said the milk in Korea is way better. <laughs> it is actually. They sell that shit in bags. It's like sweet milk. <laughs> That's true. They got the banana cows out there. But that's the reason why banana we didn't have a, a Thanksgiving with family. You didn't have one because of that? Yeah. What did your mom and brothers do? Uh, they they were at home. Just doing nothing? Yeah. And then and then they were like, oh, we're going to cook kaimi. But I was like, mm, my friend's cooking something better, so I'm going to go there. That's Whoa. crazy. You that You, you hey, should have just told me. I would have pulled them like, hey, I'm Esther. <laughs> <laughs> For me. Esther? You mean Esther? Esther? <laughs> my parents? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Wait, why'd oh. you play along and then now you're- <laughs> I thought you was doing the Korean accent. My, that was crazy. My, uh, <laughs> my parents moved to Korea after high school, so I didn't have- And then my sister lived somewhere, and my other sister moved to Korea as well. And then I lived in an area where I didn't have family nearby, but I didn't mind not doing anything during the holidays because it was the one time. This was also through college. Like through college, I would I would purposely work on Thanksgiving and Christmas to guarantee that I get New Year's off because then I go you know party with my friends. But like because oh, of you that, was a demon. That was a bad boy. You was a bad boy. Yeah, but because of that, like missing holidays never felt like anything to me. Like I understand his situation's a bit different, but I was always just like. Dude, I get this time to myself. I don't have to travel. I don't have to like deal with family. Um, yeah, I, it was like more relaxing. It's like, dude, everything is empty, dead. Mm -hmm. No one's bothering me. It's kind of nice. So I got used to from college all the way till I was like 28. People would invite me to holiday things, but I would just choose not to because I'm like, I like being completely alone. People are different, you know? Mm -hmm. I think I'm the type to like romanticize things. So like I kind of romanticize like, everything yeah. you know but I think Jeremy is more the type that he doesn't really care he's yeah Jeremy like, don't give a fuck about nothing yeah, he's not very like, like, if it's not making me money why would I no, do it no not, a, not he's about. Scrooge it's like sometimes I feel like Big holidays facts. no but I think a lot of holidays too is you're forced to do like you're forced to put on this holiday mentality it's like you have to be happy you have to do these activities and it's like it's okay if you don't like to do those things it's okay if you don't want to be around family it's also like not everybody likes their family too mm -hmm. like a lot of my 
family vacation experiences or being around that much family too much is just like ends up being like people nagging me or people in bad moods getting in fights things like that and i'm like I can see family whenever. It doesn't have to be on this holiday. You don't have to fit but you, in this but do picture you, perfect idea. But do you though? Yeah, I see family outside like wherever oh. I can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think for most people it's just like they're, everyone has such busy lives that you don't really think about, like it's an excuse, like a forced excuse for everyone to see each other again. And you get the time off from yeah. work and things exactly. like that. Exactly. It's like, it's like almost like a government sanctioned time for you to go meet your family. Yeah. <laughs> but, and, and I feel like for somebody that grew up without... And I feel like Vit longs for a, like a family picture, you know what I mean? Like, like that, like a picture like that. We need a new picture. We picturesque should, family. We should take one. I'm down. It's the four of us. We've been saying that for months. Yeah. And, but also it's like- but We, no, should, we yeah, could yeah, keep yeah. saying it for more months. Yeah. If Never you, give up hope. So, hey, Stop giving you, up hope. If you guys are saying it for months, make it happen. Be like, show up here and let's take this picture, guys. Should we be Mount Rushmore? No. Benjamin Franklin. Oh, that Franklin. would be a good one, though. That would be a good one. And I'll be Abraham Lincoln because I'm the tallest. I don't look like Benjamin Franklin anymore. <laughs> but anyways. You look like Betsy Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not even funny. The girl version. Whatever. Fuck you, man. Betsy Franklin. But anyways. You feel okay? Yeah. Yeah? I just want this shit to be over. I'll be, I'll Podcast? Be... We no, just no, started. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. The, the, the holiday holidays, season? Yeah. But what, so like, I feel like every year it's been a thing for you to like feel this way during the holidays? Every, every single year. I think, I think it's a lot of things. Yeah, it's definitely I, a lot I of I think things. my body is dead ass like hardwired. Um, just cause, uh, like cold, when it, when it gets cold, I, I would stay in the crib more. Mm -hmm. So I used to get my ass beat more. Mm. So but, I, and it, trauma is also stored physically too. Yeah. So, um, yeah, w winter, winter time is always pretty tough. So, I would seasonal I mean, depression for sure. A lot yeah. of people go through that. Yeah, but I would I would suggest like being proactive about like if you know that this time of year like that happens right, and then I feel like you re like retreat to doing the same things that makes you feel the same feelings right. So if you are if you don't if you're longing for family and then during the holiday season and all that type of those feelings and then you're missing it and then you purposefully retreat, you know what I'm saying. Like how, there's no mathematical equation where that adds up to you feeling better or you fixing that part of yourself, you know? Yeah. So part of being like, like pr practical and like purposeful about fixing that is like, you know what I'm saying? Like taking, no, even yeah, though you like, don't feel like it, taking the effort to be like, guys, let's hang out. What do we, you know what I'm saying? Like, one, like that. Yeah. Something to cheer yourself up. Yeah. yeah that's, like, that's why I'm probably for our event. I'm a, uh, I'm a probably fly my sister and my mom out here. Yeah, good, hell yeah, good. exactly. Doing shit like that, yeah. like let's let's go fucking hiking or something on Sunday, you know. Um, go buy like, yourself something nice. Yeah, but until this podcast, we never would have known, you know. So it's like that's yeah. also on you to kind of reach out for help if you ever want to. If you oh, want yeah, to I know. pass and it, I, I think we all know I struggle with that. Yeah, no, yeah. exactly. So uh, I think that the I think, podcast I is good for you for that reason. Yeah, yeah, never quit. The podcast. Yeah. By the way, we're not paying you anymore. No. <laughs> I would I'm never quit this. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But yeah, man, always, uh, yeah, don't feel, don't feel weird. You got to defeat the f part of you that feels weird to reach out. It's not, I don't feel weird reaching out. I just don't do it. Exactly. So I don't, something, I don't know. Yeah. something I think, we could, I think we could be better too. Of, yeah. You know, knowing him now. I don't like, expect it. Hey, 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 hey you can. Yeah. From us, you well, can expect What's family it. for? You can expect things from family. But uh, where did fucking Eddie go? Oh, he got. He was tired of your shit. Yeah, Eddie doesn't fuck with us, <laughs> as we known. But anyways, hard transition. Huh. What's the fastest way to ruin Christmas? That, that right there. <laughs> hard transition, right Shitty there. Shitty transition. <laughs> huh. yeah, Hit the name. What's a way to ruin Christmas? What's the fast? You gonna ru you gonna walk in front of the screen while I'm talking, man? At least I don't crawl underneath like a thirty year old Ooh. man. What's the fastest way to ruin Christmas? Telling them that you are a stripper. Oh shit, mm. that's a, revealing your OnlyFans. Ah. Playing the OnlyFans on the family television. Asking them to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Finding out your uncle is subscribed Wait, to your OnlyFans. That's a creepy oh. fact actually though. That's that ruins it. That ruins it. Someone someone that has <laughs> OnlyFans crazy. says that like um it, they're not just random people. Most of the time it's people that you know. Of and course. I'm just like, that's weird. No, like anytime, close people that you know. Anytime I've asked uh, dudes, like, why do you buy OnlyFans when there's free porn? And they're like, 
Cause the porn star that I'm beating off to didn't sit next to me in math class, Damn. and I'm like, okay, I get it, but that's also creepy too. Yeah. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, that's common, and I I don't know why it just like I was like mind blown for yeah. some reason. Huh. Damn, OnlyFans is probably ruining a lot of family reunions now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Wait, why? It, it's a pretty new phenomenon. Because you meet around with the entire family. It's like, hey, Stacy, what are you doing? Uh, it's about I'm the selling bragging my, rights. I'm selling my butthole pics for four ninety nine. Yeah, if you're talking about bragging rights, I think the what are the worst things that you can do for your family to be ashamed of you? Uh, nodding off at the table. So no, no, no. Oh. What the fuck? Nodding off at the table, man, of all things. You could literally be a porn star. Rug you could dealing. Be, yeah. No, nodding I'm off, gonna... meaning like you're so high Dude. on heroin. Oh. Oh. Like nodding off. like so and, be a and drug my, addict. And my, yeah, a drug yeah, addict. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. fucking friend did that. Sl- fell asleep. Well, from- he was he was just nodding off. But holy like, shit, it was very I'm not obvious. gonna job shame anything though. I no, think- no, it's not about what we would shame. What do you think the family would be the most ashamed about? What jobs do you think your family or any family would be ash- most ashamed about if you brought that to the family reunion? That's hard for me because my parents are always very supportive. What if you were doing porn? Yeah. I mean, honestly, if they said that that makes me happy, then happy, then I think that they'll really. The yeah. Wow. No, I mean, my mom, so I had OnlyFans for a little bit, and my mom knew about it. She looked at everything, and she was like, oh. You're you had kid- OnlyFans? For a little bit, yeah, I did. What was because you Because I have a, uh, well, I would post what I used to post on my Instagram. Uh-huh. So, like, everything that I had, I had on my what Instagram. What a scam. Pre- well, yeah. come on. You, <laughs> what everybody, a fucking come scam. On. You guys know I'm a scammer. Yeah, what is real. this, new? You didn't, you didn't post your dick? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever. Hey, man. she's making money with just her Instagram pictures, and he straight up has a hard <laughs> dick on his fucking- this is, this is what I did. So, like, on my Instagram, I would, like, I, I posted, like, more provocative pictures on my Instagram before. Yeah. So then I would delete, like, archive those, and then repost them on my OnlyFans, and people would pay for those. And I would uh, it's actually. A sad I'm not gonna. World I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bikini bro. pictures. <laughs> but I only did this for like I did it for several months because I couldn't delete my OnlyFans because people were still subscribed. You can't delete it if there's still people there. Mm-hmm. So like I just stopped posting, but people would still pay for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I still make like hundred dollars a month. Off yeah. That. No. It's, it's, really. Yeah. yeah. You can't delete I think they, it. I think they just forget to fucking. Wait, but is your is your dick still? Up? No, I went back and deleted everything. No, yeah. Same. Yeah. But mm-hmm. yeah, I was paying for subscriptions for, for like OnlyFans? months. <laughs> that I, no, not OnlyFans, oh. just random <laughs> shit. I've never paid for an OnlyFans ever, y'all. Why just say like that? <laughs> what? I don't no, know. No, just subscriptions in general. That uh, I'm like, bro, uh, I've been paying for HBO Max for a year, and I didn't even fucking watch a single thing on there. Yeah. That's what a rich man does. I was so mad at myself. You I think, tried to get my money back. I was like, you guys scammed me. You think that they would be upset if you were like a tobacco, like a cigarette salesman? Um, I was yeah, gonna I s- sell cigarettes and lots of them. Like maybe. So. You know what I was gonna say? Another one is if you're an <laughs> aspiring rapper. <laughs> that's probably even worse than the OnlyFans. So I would be more rapper. disappointed in my son being an aspiring rapper than my daughter being an OnlyFans girl. I think. Wait, don't you think some parents would be proud? <coughs> I feel so. Depends how good you are, Loud? I'd say. Yeah, if, if yeah. you have a lot of talent. Yeah, if you're really good, then that's different. But I'm thinking like stereotypical aspiring rapper where you are literally just trying to be a copy paste like Lil Xan. Like fucking tattooing yourself as much as possible. You get a thousand plays on SoundCloud. All you talk about is pussy, drugs, money. I think I think maybe this also matters. Like if you were like a SoundCloud rapper, but you're a bum, like you still live at home and yep. like you have your mom do her do your laundry and stuff, then it's just like, oh my god, what are you doing? But like let's just you're say an that extra you're like bum. You're fucking you're like, that's the most loser yeah, shit yeah, I that's ever what heard. I'm saying. Holy shit. But if you're an aspiring rapper and you do your shit you're busy work. You're a hardworking, busy person, and you have a a, a job. Then, then I, I'm like, oh yeah, like that's good for you. I think that's cool because then you have a hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like a musical outlet and a dream. But what I okay, I should have been more specific. The stereotypical aspiring SoundCloud rapper that is like rapping about what drugs and bragging about what drugs he's addicted to, who he killed, and he's probably done none of it. You know what I mean, like. And then it's like literally just trying to be like copy paste like gangster rapper. And it's like you grew up in the suburbs. Mm. You know? I thought of one while I was in the bathroom. What? Because I come from a Christian family. If I was like, yeah, I work at an abortion clinic. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. they would be, be so fucking be disappointed. Oh. What else? What else is a shitty job to our parents? 
Do you think Can I phone my mom? Bartending was. Bartending was not. Really? Was not. Yeah, yeah. No matter how much money I made, it'd be like, are you planning to bartend forever? You know, like those types <laughs> of But questions. it's so cool. Bartending is actually so cool. Yeah, it's cool to us. Yeah, but imagine okay. your Asian parents being like, oh, my son. What would be a disappointment for? Why would you think it'd be anything different? You think I got a lower standards or something? What? Oh, Whoa, joking, Jeremy. Joking. What, is, what are these? Yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, I feel like I you have like to answer the question. What the hell? What? Well, <laughs> what's what's going on? Offended. Also, it's like all, everything you mentioned, I think across the board, like regardless of what yeah, culture. Yeah, I feel like you have microaggressions. Yeah, that's a microaggression Eddie. right there. Yeah. What did I do? You Why are microaggressing Eddie. So you think we just full of drug dealers in my family? Yeah, you think, what are you trying to say about his right? family? Wait, wait, I'm so confused. I was just saying, what's another job? I don't get it. What? No, no, the what way you said joke. it was a microaggression. Why? Because you were trying to say that his family might have different standards. No, I was just saying, add to the question. <laughs> guys he trying to he escape. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, guys trying to escape the hammer of justice. <laughs> this is don't crazy. Worry, man. Your hair is Thanks blue. Your hair is blue man. too. Savior, this guy. Yeah. This Are you is, trying to say is, it because this is like what's Asian? wrong with the new generation? They just want a reason to be upset. New generation. Like you. Yeah. you. Maybe, okay. maybe if you didn't give us a reason to be upset, we wouldn't be upset. Wait, are, exactly. you, are you saying because like Asian parents are just like really, really strict? Is that what, what you're no, trying to say? No, no. He, was, he was trying to say that Hispanics are less than Asians. Basically. And then he turned that on Eddie on, with his microaggressions. Oh, I just took it as like Asian parents are just super strict. And like I know, I know like my non-Asian friends, their families just chill. Like nah, they're that more wasn't open. It at all. I was just saying add to the question, what would be a job that would piss your... Man, I'm just trying to help you out, yeah. bro. Yeah, you, you, you've taken no lifeboat. You've yeah, taken no, no lifeboat yeah, out the situation. Uh, yeah, and in fact, she made it worse. <laughs> she yeah, was, she made she's it like, worse. No, actually. but Spanish families are that way. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What? Which is, no, they're chill. <laughs> they're definitely more chill than Asians. Yeah, Asian no, families Hispanic like families are very similar to Asian families. Oh, are just they? any okay. any family that has to do with like like any any family. Immigration. That, no, not immigrated any, to not the any, US because white my white friends okay, like okay, yeah, completely any different immigrant family. I think across the board, the standards are basically the same. There yeah. may be some standards in terms of maybe like, like how good you're doing that are higher. But again, it's just they're outliers. They'll whoop, they'll whoop their kids. Yeah, because like oh. you hear about like the Niger. I've seen like Nigerian TikTok yeah. of like they're they're like oh they're scary. Huh? That. It's the same shit. Like I'm like oh that's literally what happened to me. Yeah, like yeah. it's the same. And they have Niger like immigrants in general because you sacrifice a lot to come here have extremely high standards for their kids. Yep. And then I would say Hispanic families have similar judgmental processes as Asian families when it I'm, comes to like these big reunions. I think the only difference that I see is that in terms of schooling, like I would still get my ass beat if I didn't do well, but it wasn't, I guess the, the beatings weren't hard enough for me to start doing better. That's <laughs> it. Like, or you, the, 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 the torches that I heard you go through, I'm like, that shit is like tactical. Hey, yeah. would you, would, would your... Family be cool, like if you got all B's and some C's, like Hell three no. B's and two C's. Um, yeah. like a C would be like, what's wrong with you? A B was like, all right, like good job, nice, keep going, you know. Uh -huh. But try to get a hundred next time. Nice. Whereas, like, I feel like for you guys, like you a didn't B get a hundred, yeah. you got a ninety nine. Are you stupid? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's yeah. The, the kind of vibe I'm. And B getting. is you're fucking up. You're really fucking up. Yeah, and yeah. C is. A C is a fail. Yeah, you basically you're, you're going to end up in jail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, What's yeah. wrong but with you? you? So yeah, the standard yeah. of that is... Yeah, that's, I, I used to get Bs and be scared to show my yeah. problem. Really? My parents expected nothing more from me than a C. Oh, so you just like, like me, like you, my... My hermana, okay. Hey, I mean, if you were my daughter, I wouldn't expect more than a C from you either, though. Yeah, honestly, I grew, my, my brain kind of grew slow. <laughs> and, and, my, and my parents knew that because, okay, I, have, I haven't told anyone this, but I'll tell you if you guys promise to treat me well. Okay, I promise. <laughs> oh I promise. Are you dyslexic? This might make a lot more sense. No. Yeah, I feel like you're about to unlock a lot for me right now. Yeah. <laughs> I was held back in the fourth grade. <laughs> 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 That's late. Are you lying or no? no I swear to God. <laughs> Bro, that Yo. that that is definitely hey, something. Hey. If you take to the family, <laughs> you get held back in elementary. Okay, yeah, and oh. okay, okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll yeah, tell yeah, explain you. yourself. Okay. okay, so my older brothers are twins, right? We're only uh -huh. like a year apart, and we we ha we were in the same grade <laughs> from preschool to from kindergarten to the third grade. Uh -huh. Like we were in the same grade, uh -huh. and then when it turned when when I went to the fourth grade, I didn't know shit. Like, and then my teacher was like, uh, called my mom and, my, and the teacher was like, 
she's kind of learning at a very slow pace. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and, and, and my mom was like, what does that mean? You know, she's like, she's, a, she's just Asian. She doesn't know how to speak English. Mm. But then basically they were like, I think she has to repeat the fourth grade. <sighs> And then, and then on the way home, I was just like, ah, like just crying, like holding my mom. Please don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know damn well your mom was on the phone later, just telling everybody. Like, no. But does your entire school know now because you were no, with one grade and they're we, like. The good thing is that we moved a lot. Oh. So by the time that I was in the fourth grade again, <laughs> I, was at a, I was at a different school. Oh, but that's the good. Old, and then you look smart as fuck because you already knew everything, right? No, I was still, I was still a little slow. You still had to learn everything. <laughs> but, 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 but people would ask me like, why are you older than us? <laughs> but, but, and I'll be like, and I, and I, my, my, my thing would be my birthday's late, <laughs> but they're like, it's September. <laughs> it's still pretty late. <laughs> but anyways, but anyways, okay. So basically I have, I have another thing. Okay. So the third, the third grade, I had a teacher that didn't teach us anything. I went to kind of like a school that was like a little not there. So like my teacher would all, all she did was put on movies and we just sit and watch movies oh, all uh. day. <clears throat> but my brothers are naturally very, very smart. Uh -huh. So like they get things easily. But damn, as, so you missed that gene or what? Yeah, it skipped over me. <laughs> Actually, everyone else in my family, very, very smart. Really? Except, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not, I'm street smart. Yeah, okay, yeah and, yeah, yeah. and and I know how to like socialize. So you're saying that they're like better at memorizing stuff or learning? They're almost geniuses. Okay. Yeah, my older brothers are really, really smart. Wait, then how come you're the one that makes the most money? Uh, street smart. I mean, I scam people. That's, <laughs> street that's, smart. That's, that's street smart right street there. Street smart make money. True. And, true. and I, I'm pretty ballsy, so. Uh -huh. But I mean, you know, so, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> don't don't tell people about okay, this. Okay, we won't. You just told the whole internet. No, we won't tell. Outside won't tell the internet. Hey, don't everybody, tell if you're listening to this, do not tell. Don't tell anyone. Uh, yeah, we'll Don't you dare tell No anybody. one. Well, uh, that was hilarious. Honestly, that's crazy. that, that, that was surprising, but not that surprising. Do you guys think lesser of me? Yes. Oh, okay, what the fuck? One million percent. <laughs> yeah, I well, just told you. I gotta really see what the third grade curriculum was that she. That's like, when we were learning cursive and shit. No, you know what? I get it. That shit was tough. No cursive. No, I'm good like cursive. at cursive. And, and your times tables was third. No, no. Grade. The oh. reason why I got times held tables back. fucked you up. Yes, What's it was math. Table? It was okay. actually math that fucked me up. Everything else, I was cool. Eight times eight. Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Up, he won. Uh, seven he times two. Seven times a fourteen. Seven times seven. 49. Oh. Seven times eight. 48. 56. Wait, what the? You said 48? <laughs> 56. Seven, seven 50. times what? Yeah, you got it. No, you got, got it. Right. You said four. What is it? He said right. You went down 56. a number 56. even though the numbers increased. God. You know what? Shut up. Yo, repeat fourth grade again. <laughs> hey, it'd be hilarious watching hey, Esther right know, now <laughs> sitting in a fourth grade class. Do you know how to class. do the Pythagorean theorem? Yeah, exactly. What's the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem? theorem? Please what educate is it? me. What is it? Pythagorean. Please educate me. A squared plus B squared equals C squared? No, no, that's a different one. That's yeah. the fucking... What is that one? That is a Pythagorean theorem. No, 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 it's not. It's I can. I have a computer. That is a Pythagorean theorem. No, it's not. It, that's about That's about the, the, the triangles, no? Yeah, Pythagorean theorem is... Hypotenuse? Are you joking? Yeah, bro. It is the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, oh, what the fuck is wrong A squared plus B squared. You no, 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 no. The fourth no, 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 no. It's not because... C, it's C equals the square root of A squared plus Bro, B squared. Which is, it's the same thing as except yeah. the opposite. No, 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 it's not. No, the, the square root wasn't there. Bro, what are you talking the about? The square root wasn't okay. there. Okay, but A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So that means That's C squared is the, is the is square root of A and B together. Oh, you're right, you're right. Why is a yeah. root square? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind I've of root? never seen a square root in my life. Yeah. Hey, what's, what's the other one? That's PEMDAS. Oh, yeah. PEMDAS yeah. is, is when you Please do something really bad and Sally. then do another thing that's really yeah. bad and they, and then it's a good thing. What PEMDAS? the hell? PEMDAS yeah. is basically parentheses <laughs> Please and excuse then my dope dear ass. exponents. My dear Aunt Sally. Wait, what is it? Dear Aunt Sally. Dear Aunt you Aunt said Sally. my dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> my dumb ass. <laughs> no, but later on when I went to high school, I was good at math. So like I... I'd say the only time I've gotten a D, I started like dropping off and being good at school when I went to uh, pre-calc. Oh, me too. When, when is that? I had to take pre-calc three times in community college. Oh, no, I took it twice. Shit or I took hard. it in senior year and I failed it senior year almost. I got like a D. You but guys can't say anything to you me. You know what I fucking ruined me? Ooh. What? When some dumbass told, decided to tell a sixth grader, your grades don't even matter until you get to high school. Oh, somebody said <laughs> that. I just took two they years said, off. They, they said that to me too. <laughs> uh, 
And then in the two years, I was like, I've ruined my fucking my work. It was that. And then the teacher's telling me, oh, you scored the best on the ITBS test. Oh, so you just thought you were smart. I, I knew I was smart. Yeah. I was like, fuck this. I'm not trying until high school. Damn. High school came. I was like, I'm going to skip classes to go to the gym to shoot hoops. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think school was important at all. I, I have, uh, since we're just dropping things about ourselves. Uh, all right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> So what Eddie wanted to say is that he's dyslexic. No, I, I took oh. remedial math. What? My senior year. Oh, you were in the sped special class. They're counting with goldfish. Wait, you mean like you mean like? Um, okay, I know. What like you're like the about. lesser. Uh, it's the it's easier macaroni math class. art and goldfish. <laughs> it did. Uh, was the easiest way to get out of high school. <laughs> so it, I I was taking all the regular classes and then geometry hit and this guy had the thickest accent I, and I literally all the math exactly teachers right accent. all the math teachers had like accents. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, they're all foreign. Um, yeah. the, but all the way to like the eleventh grade, he, he was like the one I was just like literally. I was like, I don't know what he's saying. I literally could not understand. He was uh, 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 like he had a weird like voice thing too, and like all the Damn. people around me were like like nerds, so they were just like taking it in. I'm Every like, single person except Eddie. No, no, no. There's some people. <laughs> yeah, wait. How are all the nerds in remedial math? Okay, so the, there were some people obviously who are were, weren't doing well, but that's because they straight up were cutting class all the time. And there was a certain point where I was just like, I'm not learning anything. I'm done with this. So I would just not go to class in the end. Like, like let's say like the last month I was just like cutting it. But uh, yeah, I was just doing bad. Every test I fucking scored 40s, 30s. I was not doing anything. And then they were like, if you want to graduate, you need to take summer school and you need to take an easy math. Because like, if you can't Damn. take geometry, how are you supposed to take pre-cal? And I was just like, give me Motherfucker remedial. couldn't do geometry? How many sides are there in a square? Quick. Four. Oh, yeah. Now I can see why you failed. Yeah. <laughs> but remedial was, was fun as fuck. I'm not going to lie. But I bet you guys I could solve every math problem. I could not. Watch, watch this. Watch this. Ready? Eight plus eight times eight divided by eight. Go. Hey, shut up, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. Eight plus eight is 16 divided by eight is two times eight is I four. Got, I got you with the PEMDAS. word problem. With the word PEMDAS. problem. If Jeremy <clears> sells 30 box of nectars, but he needs to... Never mind. I don't even know how to construct <laughs> He this. needs to get his money up. That's what. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I feel like we veered off from the Christmas topics, oh, but uh, what, what? Yeah, we just say hey, we just revealed to everybody how stupid we were. We were not the I smartest. I never said that. Not stupid yeah. anymore. Yeah. Dude, I had to do extra math. Kumon, I failed out of that. I just refused to do it, and so What's my Kuman? dad would beat my ass for that. Kumon is like after school. I got, like I got my ass beat SAT. for failing math at school, and then I got I got my ass beat again for not doing my extra math. Oh no! Hey, yeah. the, the Asian parenting method is so backwards sometimes. So backwards. Wait, my it's parents, like my child really sucks at math and science. Let me force it on him a lot more. Oh, I mean, I get that. It's like extra practice. No, because it's like maybe he's good at art. Make him fucking draw some oh, shit. You know? My parents actually gave up on me. So when I said I want to go to Kumon, they said, "Why would we spend money?" Yeah, they're like, "It's not worth to, it." Yeah. yeah, and then I never went. But it was, I mean, so like I would be uh, riding my bike when everyone was at Kumon. They're like, "Us are so lucky." I'm just like, da da da. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm sorry, but I was not smart. I'm imagining you had the spinny cap. No, literally, literally, like they were like, "There's nothing in this woman's there brain." The special this needs girl's... helmet. I, low, low key, low key. I think they thought something was wrong with me. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, honestly. Hey, well, okay. Well, back to the Christmas stuff. Yep. What, what do you all want for Christmas? If you could get one thing for Christmas, what do you want? Like something that's like, okay, um. Go back. Come back to me. Mater materialistic? Can be anything. I want to see what pops into your head first. Happiness. Oh. I shouldn't have said that. Materialistically. I knew, I knew he would say something either that would make me sad or say a girlfriend. Yeah. So that I was like judging between those. It's like a limited amount of vape. I don't, I don't care about a girlfriend right now. A girlfriend and happiness my, are, my, are synonyms. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be happy until I have a girlfriend. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I am in the same boat as Vit. I would like a girlfriend. Can we just do something materialistic, guys? Because okay, let's do, let's do something not materialistic. I want, something I want, materialistic. I want materialistic. a girlfriend with big tits. Super oh. materialistic. <laughs> I would like a girlfriend with a fat ass. Uh, yeah. Actually, I, yeah, big tits and a fat ass. I've oh, always shit. settled for one. We can, we can add, we can, it's build a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> big <laughs> tits, fat ass, small waist, cares about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big lips? Uh, not too big. Not too big. Not, not too fake. Big. You want the schlong attachment too? <laughs> I would like that removed. Okay. I'd like yeah. the model without that one. We can <laughs> give all the features if you want. 
I would like her. I would like her. With the super soaker? Super soaker 9000. Gorilla? The extra grippy because, you know, sometimes it'd be wide in there. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I can't feel it. Well, if we're building a bum, I would like. Build a bum? <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, you guys want to say build a bitch. And it's my turn now. Okay, build a bum. I want a man that has 10 inches. Whoa, 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 how dare you? You what? know damn well that doesn't exist. <laughs> you know you can't even handle all that. What the fuck? What are you going to do with the extra seven? I didn't even finish of hair because I oh, okay. want him oh, okay, to cut okay. it and give me extensions. Okay, okay, thank God, thank God. <clears throat> continue, continue. And then maybe like eight inches of... <laughs> of what? Of what? Of schlong. Eight schlong. inches? And then I would like him to be that six... That would kill you, it's not six, even healthy. Six five is pretty cool. Maybe like maybe six five. Maybe maybe six, eight five what? maybe eight feet uh, tall when he when he when he when he stands on his money. What else? Hmm. When he stands on his money, how oh, would he stand that's on his like money? That'd be a waste yeah. of money. Maybe six five not, stands on ten grand. Ten grand. Feet. You don't even know how Jeremy ten doesn't grand fit looks any like. Of ten these... grand is like this. That's in hundreds. Oh, now, yeah, I'm glad hundreds. you asked this question. Now I know I'm, we're not meant to be. Yeah, for real. Yeah, very materialistic. It doesn't seem like you would fit her type. Yeah, yeah. it feels like her well, standards. We building a you know bomb, what? She wants so... a fucking Viking god. She wants yeah. Thor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you guys could dream, then I could. <laughs> you want the great Khali. First of all, I've had women like exactly I'm describing. You've never met a man like that. I'm realistic. <laughs> I dream. I'm a dreamer. I also am a dreamer. I'm lying. I've never even touched a woman before. <laughs> Anyways, what do you want, Jeremy? <laughs> Uh, I got what I wanted. Oh, what did you want? I wanted AirPod Maxes, and <laughs> I was in a video with her, and she surprised me with AirPod That's Maxes. That's like her go-to gift. That's fire. Yeah, I know. And you know what's funny? One in the beginning of the video, huh? she's like, if you get all the questions right, you'll win a gift. And mm -hmm. I was like, I hope it's like the, I hope it's the, vit, the gift that Vit got last Christmas. Yeah. And, and it literally was exactly that. It was that exactly bit. that. I Wait, was when like, he said that, were you like, what the fuck? How did you guess that? Uh, No, I mean, he kind of expects a lot from me. Uh, and I was like, bro, it's not even Christmas. He wow. he's expects so I much. I didn't care. Are I was, you materialistic, Jeremy? He is. Um, not really. Outside yeah, of that, actually, I the way care. you dress, I feel like it's very obvious you're not materialistic. No, but his shirt is Balenciaga. Yeah, Balenciaga designer. <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> not called Balenciaga. No, this is real. If you is give him a mouse book? a cookie, yeah. Eddie wouldn't know the book because he was in remedial math. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most basic book. What book is that, Eddie? Quick. I've never seen that book in my life. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the book either, to be honest. I know it's from a book, but I don't remember the name. I, I know I, it's from I'll a book. I'll tell you, it looks it's like if you book. give a mouse a cookie. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Because I used to read a lot. I never <laughs> she read. She was reading this style book. <laughs> she's, like, talk, she's talking about when she was 18. Hey, the book, the book is this big, and there's one image that takes up the whole page and one sentence at a time. It's literally like one sentence's worth of content per page. Yes, it's like if you give a mouse... You flip the page. A cookie. Picture of a cookie. <laughs> Bro, they're the kings of clickbaiting and like yeah, and, yeah. and just cliff dropping. Like, yeah. Wow, my favorite book. Oh wait, Jeremy, do you have a surprise for us? <gasps> oh wait, wait, wait. We didn't also Eddie, what do you want for Christmas, Eddie? My fault. Oh. Also, anyways, that anyways, yeah, yeah, go get the surprise. <laughs> Trying to set him up again. Ha 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 ha. It was only funny one time. Anyways. <laughs> I would like oh, to God. travel. I was oh, thinking. Because he got a girl in another country. Oh yeah, wait, let's go over that when, when, when you get back. Bring the surprise. 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 What I want for Christmas oh, is I, do, we, do you actually have to no, close our I eyes? I said skip me. Oh, like, oh come yeah. Back. Yeah, no, see, you were building go back to bomb. Esther. No. Do it. I was kidding about that. I don't okay. wanna huh? What do you want? Okay, me for me, I want I want an all paid uh trip mm. and I would like a dinner. Well, I mean, that's included. Well, yeah, damn. <clears throat> that's, you, want, you want a lot. Well, what if I wanted to go to San Diego? That's not that expensive. <laughs> you, you trip to hell? Hey, you trip to all expense paid trip. <laughs> <laughs> all expense paid trip to found LA. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fill up your gas tank to go. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, son. Anytime. Hey, but um, I get to pick. Okay, found LA or Bang Bang? Which one you want? <laughs> pick pick <Bang> away. <laughs> um, so... I didn't think Eddie was going to be here today, so... Oh, so That's crazy. Anyone. Well, fuck you. Yeah, but also, you'll understand why. I, we didn't have enough anyways. Um, close oh, your eyes. I know what it is. Close your eyes. Everyone, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Why would you whisper in his ear and ruin it? I wanted to get like a I raw reaction. Know. Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girlfriend. It's a guy friend. Even better. 
I knew it! <laughs> yeah! Oh, nice yeah. catch, man. It's crazy you come to my own crib and know you even pass me one, even if I wasn't going to be on the podcast. Yeah! yeah well, we, we only got these, these can are I see? the test oh, models. Oh, these. Oh, the, can I see? We're getting the, we had to get these rush shipped, rush made. This is oh. one of the items that motherfucking Uber driver stole from me. Really? They, oh, we, oh, fuck I, you. You would have had one in, until he stole it. This is fine. He saw the hats. Hey, imagine somebody like one of our listeners Bro. is in an Uber and the guy's wearing this Not hat. Trying. I'll wait. Yeah, please. This is Eddie, cool, you, you, Eddie, you want this for now? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, because There's because no, I'll, I'll be getting it, some later. And and oh, I don't. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Swing that, dude. Guys. I also failed at PE, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you know. Hey, the floating hat look is a vibe. No, you look dumb. I look like I got extra cranium. <laughs> All right. We got so we the <laughs> UTI hats. If oh, that's super string, cute. Push the string down a little. Just go like that. Push the string down. I can't see anything. Yeah. Glasses are yeah, off. My, my head is big as fuck, y'all. I just have to put that open to like the, the yeah, highest it's, setting. It's, we, had to we had to tie the ends in the back. <laughs> we got the UTI hats, everybody. Look at these hats. Um, the oh, the first time that you'll ever... Well, actually, this podcast will come out after, but the only time the first people will be able to get them at the shows... Or at the drops because we can't sell them at the clubs because they're trying to take a percentage of our sales. Oh, really? Fuck yeah. you, guys. No, so I'm we're gonna kidding. sell these at the drops. So so cute. There you go. But we'll Look also be we'll be dropping them online. Probably by the time you see this, they'll have come out already. Yes. So so check it out. First ever merch. The, uh, first UTI merch. Don't get the hats. Don't get the hats. Look at this. I like how it's super rare, wearable. Yeah, some I actually other like how it looks on my head. Yeah. Wait, I want to see what it looks like on you. Put this we on. Uh, we took a minute. Damn. You fucking chuck that at her. That was just my just, left hand. I like it. Yeah, no dexterity. Yeah. Just like a caveman. Literally, it's just like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you want hat? Give hat. <laughs> <laughs> you ever tried throwing something with your left hand? That shit tough. Yeah, but it's a good looking hat. Now hit the floating hat look. Floating hat look. Uh, isn't this pretty floating? No, no, more. No, no, no. You, you got like the down. face. New yeah. York floating hat yeah. look. No, 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 but down. I'm gonna cut off the brim. Oh no no! You no, have you to tighten, tighten it, tighten it, tighten it, tighten yeah, it. What the fuck? You don't know how to You're wear. You're gonna a hat. cut the brim off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, y'all, go to the link in description um, to see if you can get your own cuties hat. Back to the regularly scheduled program. Yeah. Uh, Fire. Uh, wait, right, wait, wait, let's do our plugs. No, let's do that later. Okay. Let's well, what? How many hours are we into this? Not even an hour. No, no let's just keep it moving. Yeah. Oh, really? What would you guys do if you've been hinting to your significant other for a gift and they buy you something you never even asked for? Like something <sighs> you've never, ever mentioned this once. You're like, where the fuck did you get that at? Okay, I'll be honest. I know it sounds pretty ungrateful, but, but I would be kind of sad. I'll, I'll be a little Ungrateful. <clears throat> no, I'm kidding. I agree. I agree. Because it's just like, I, I'm pretty, I'll, I'll probably give them multiple hints. What, what, what does a hint look like, though? Because like some people, yeah, what does a hint look like? Um, babe, it's this Esther is a thinking. cute. This is a cute hat. I really want this hat, but I, I, I don't know if I should get this but hat. I'm so fucking ugly. <laughs> you know? Okay, that's a pretty good hint. Not gonna like, lie. oh my god, which hat is cuter, this hat or this hat? Wow, if somebody bought this for me for Christmas, that'd be amazing. Yeah, wow. Have you ever, okay, what's the, what's like a literal hint that you've given that was the most obvious hint possible? Oh. Because I don't give hints. I'm like, hey guys, I want this for Christmas. Okay, no, no, no. But even if it wasn't a hint, I, one time I asked for flowers for my, for my Christmas present. Ow! <laughs> Ow! What the fuck happened? You just bit his toe. Hella hard. <laughs> you motherfucker just... waved his foot in my face. Hella what hard. you thought was going to happen? You what thought I was going to let that shit slide? Damn, you bit it though. Hey, it's just sweet fuck. out here, motherfucker. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I got to use the bathroom. Ew! Now you get a thumb off your toe. <laughs> 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 Why are you kidding? <laughs> it's, like, his, his little, it, it's like it's like Hitmon Chan with Hitmon Lee flick, flicking his little pecker. So violent, man! <laughs> what the fuck were we just talking about? Also, Dude, I, don't know. I, I, Dude, I like spaced out. I looked up and all I see was Wu Tang's mouth <laughs> chopping on his toes. That shit hurt. He bit it all hard. I, I saw you just literally kick and then flick up. Yeah. <laughs> flick his little Peter. <laughs> Damn, he bit the shit out of my toe. <laughs> 
<laughs> bro, he bites mad hard. Mad bro. hard. I mean, he literally left a mark last time. Damn. <laughs> and it's not even a cute bite. It's like dead ass. Yeah, it was like, dude, it's he's like, trying to take the toe off. <laughs> that <laughs> shit hurt. <laughs> Um, what were we talking about? Yeah, I forgot what, what were, were you talking? saying. We were talking about like if your partner, if you were hinting to your partner what oh, you wanted, but yeah, they how give would you, you something. Hint or, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think I would be, uh, I think I would be upset, but like I also don't most of the time ask for anything. I kind of, I would like to see how good they're at picking presents. I, Loki, that's kind of big for me. What yeah. the hell? Yeah, because I, I, I like being surprised. So if you actually get me something, like, like, like genuine love like I will forever not forget that yeah moment. but what if it's not good and then you're gonna be upset with them I don't think it's very hard to shop for me like I love rings I love the like I'll make it known like these are the things I like and then see if you know see, my that's taste. fine making it known but like being like oh just surprise me you know what I mean like yeah, that like surprise like you guys getting this ring for me like I never forget it like it's one of my favorite rings <laughs> yeah no well but it was obvious of, like through friendship we knew what it, what you liked you know what I'm saying it would be very obvious It'd be fucker. <laughs> do it one more time. See what happens. This time, do bite it one his more mouth. time. I, but yeah, I think do it'd be pretty time, obvious. You freak. Well, you know, one of my exes, I asked, he asked me what I wanted, and I said, I, all I want is a bouquet of flowers. Never got the bouquet oh of flowers. He got me a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> a Did necklace you, is I, more expensive. Yeah. I just wanted flowers. I was thinking, I was just wondering how well he listens to me. Hey, because I don't care. I have something wrong with me. What? Um, I made a TikTok about this, but the the night we went out for Blackout Windsor, um, oh, was, I've never heard people call it that. It's a thing. Look at yeah, that Blackout Windsor. I'm it's never, biggest, yeah, it's yeah, one of the maybe, biggest drinking holidays. Yeah, maybe on the East Coast. Thanksgiving Eve. Yeah, yeah Thanksgiving I've never Eve. heard that on the East no, Coast. Blackout, Blackout Windsor. Oh. Anyways, we went out. Whatever. There's 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 this girl that like is a is a fan of mine and she she thought I was cute. Never really paid it no mind because it's like if the chase isn't there, I'm just gonna like leave it alone. Hooked up with her friend. Uh, <laughs> Classic vid move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sounds yeah. like every vid story ever. <laughs> nah, nah. Hooked up with her friend, but they're not like they're not, they're not that close. I I don't care if they're close or not. Anyways, <laughs> went went out for Blackout Wednesday. Met girl A, but this time. She had her arms around another dude throughout the <laughs> night. And in my head, I'm like, pretty drunk. I'm like, I don't like that. How dare she? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like that. I have no clue why I don't like that because I don't even want you, but I don't like that. So the, I think the last hour was just like like us catching up. And I went up to her. I was like, you hate me now? She's like, what do you mean? She's like, hooked up with your friend. You hate me? She's like, I don't care about that. She's like, why's your arm around another man there? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, and then it, 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 she she started talking about how, oh you don't even text me like I've texted you three times you don't even respond I'm like I don't I'm like I don't text he's like well he actually texted me I'm like all right you want him go get him she's like I don't want that I'm like okay so block him right now <laughs> bro you know what's funny so so two things this guy's crazy Num number one he he looks at me he's like he's like see that girl I'm like no not really he's like anyways and he explains the situation he's like I don't know if she hates me I don't know what to do I'm like well, why don't you just do what you usually do. Do you hate me? And he's like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's what he does. And then later on, like, he, he's basically, like, talking to her, pulls her to the side. I'm talking to her friend, like, just to, like, kind of, like, entertain her. And he, he looks at me. He's like, Eddie, do I text you often? I'm like, yeah, I mean, we're good friends. Yeah, I think you do. And he's like, that's not the answer I was looking for. <laughs> I was trying to prove to her I don't text people. It, it's hey, true. Yeah, you should have picked up on that, man. How had hey, Blue was not listening it, to that conversation? It, it sucks for the dude that was trying texting this girl, and then in one random week in a yeah, ten minute she conversation, runs into Vit and Vit just destroys all his progress of the, over the past few weeks. That's how the Man. game goes. But um, yeah, I ended up buying her a, a bouquet of roses. I, I had the video. I that. I'll, 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 he said, "Don't you're know drunk? why." I had the video. I'll, I'll put it up. Uh, I'll put it up. I'll put up the video. Oh, you have the video? Yeah. I've never even seen the video. I didn't uh, know there was a video. Yeah. I need to watch that. He's drunk. And then uh, yeah. So that's when I realized I had a, I had a, I have some problem. You definitely have a problem. That's crazy. That's yeah. some, that's some villain shit to do. Really, I've never once cared about this woman, bro, mm. until I saw her arms around yeah. another dude. I've definitely it, done that it, too. It's yeah. a human yeah. psychology thing. You want what you can't have. Yeah. yeah. So jealousy works. Jealousy, but only for a little works. bit. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's like not that's not, not lasting if you're not interested yeah. in the first place. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But it Wait, does. This was a couple days ago. <laughs> it was on Wednesday. <laughs> you know what's the fucking worst that that situation kind of reminds me about? I hate. 
when motherfuckers like like let's say you and and somebody you know are competing for the same girl competing right and then they try to like flex on you like oh she want me more blah 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 i'm like Literally in my text messages, I have her saying, I don't want him. Oh, yeah. And I can, I don't want her. And you're flexing on me like, like you're winning some competition. I'm like, I could destroy you right now. I could press a button yep. and you could never see this woman again. Yep. But I won't because you want, you actually want her. Yep. So I'm literally allowing you by bowing out this race and ignoring the girl that's fucking fiending over me. But you're going to try to flex on me. Like that's so disrespectful. Right, that's the thing yep. though. Old, old dude did not try to flex. He didn't. He did. He didn't even come up. Every yeah. time. Every time he tried to come you up, you didn't even know him, him, man. Yeah, I didn't know him. That, I, guy, I, that I poor refused, man didn't deserve that. Yeah, I yeah. refused to talk shit about him. I didn't say anything like bad yeah. about his character. So, it's just how the game goes. No, yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying that that has happened to me before, where the guys like try to be cocky about it. I'm like, you fucking asshole. Like I'm literally, I'm literally allowing you this right now. Yep. Yeah. I, I never understood that until recently. Happened to you? Oh, it didn't happen to me. I was in the same posi- position as him. And I'm like, you try to flex on me? Motherfucker, I, I could take this right now if I wanted to. Where like the, yeah, it. It's like the girl's like clearly interested yeah. one way, and then the other guy's like trying. And then you're like, oh, okay, like I'll back it, off it then. Really, but then they're cocky about or, you or backing they're off. Like, you never had a chance. I'm like, I'm just, <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, literally. Wait, so why don't you guys just tell him? Because it would then destroy. It's like mean. Yeah. Yeah. And I true. have told. I have done it actually. We I definitely honor. played the villain. Or 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 you could just like like what I was doing was just basically being like, nah, whatever, man, whatever you want to say. I'm no, no, I've definitely completely destroyed that situation for him in a, in a, in a, in the past. I would. Motherfucker well, said Sakuna. <laughs> I feel. I feel like girls don't do that. Or do, has girls ever done that? Oh, no. To be spiteful? Yeah, to be spiteful. Be like, it's more oh, like a male me. ego thing. Because it's like, you're there testing are, There are girls that do gangsta. that. Like, yeah. I feel like your friend, your ex friend that um, we oh. talk about sometimes would be the type of girl to. Did she? No, she's never. Uh. Yeah. Her taste in men were very different from the people. Well, not. not I feel like she'd just be she the type. She likes some old, ripe, and rich. <laughs> not everybody wants that. <laughs> What's the oldest you would date? The oldest? Yeah. At my age, yeah. at my young age. At your old, <laughs> decrepit, should have had a family by now age. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, my fault. All right. Happy Thanksgiving. We're almost the same age, so if anything, I'm talking about myself. Um, I would, maybe like 40. Damn. 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 I guess it's okay for guys. Like, they don't like, like, girls, like, you can't, like, it gets tough to have kids at 40. 24 and 40 is not that big of an age gap. It's pretty big, but good thing you're not 24. You're way closer to 40 than that. Yeah, 24 and 40 is 16 years. 24 and 40 is a humongous age I mean, I mean by gap. the time they're 40, they're probably more mature. No. It takes them Imagine that long. 30, he, at 32, he's picking her up at high school. You'd be 32 and... Okay, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, what? All right, well, she, uh, 24 year old grown gap. adult. 24 year old grown gap. adult. The age oh. gap. Yeah. Um, do you guys know what white elephant is? Yeah. <gasps> I'm familiar. Elephant? It's a very popular, like, Asian thing, I think. Yeah, what? Well, church. Wait, is it? Explain is it? It's, it's, not, church. it's not an Asian thing. No, church. It's not an Asian thing. The church it's, was very popular. Companies do okay, it. Okay, y'all. White elephant, okay? Very different from Secret Santa because Secret Santa, y- you basically pick a random name and that's the person, that's the person that you give the gift to with white elephant you don't know who you're gonna get so you're just picking random like if there's guys and girls you, you're just picking like a unisex gift and basically everyone just brings a random gift right it's put it it's in a pile you draw numbers right and the first person that gets one picks the first one second second whatever right the first person gets to pick the uh the one of the presents in that bundle and they open it and that's it, right? The next person goes, but the next person is allowed to steal the first person's gift because they like it, or mm. they could pick a new one out the out pile. The pile. Yeah, and it goes, it goes, you know, oh. so forth, right? But, and then the third person has the option of stealing number one, number two, or picking a new one, and it goes on like that, right? But it depends on like, depends on who you're playing, who you're, who you're doing White Elephant with. Um, they, they, they're usually our friends. We only do two steals, two steals max. So let's just say there's a really, really good gift that everybody wants. Uh, one person st- uh, stole it and then another person steals it again. Then no one else can steal that two gift Two steals anymore. per gift. Yes, per okay. gift, per gift. Yeah, so that's how it is. Um, but I could see like, there was one time when White Elephant 
kind of ruined it for my in my friend group. Mm. Yeah, and has that ever happened to you guys? No. Like, would you guys be upset if someone stole a gift that you really wanted? Yeah, out your hands. I'm already thinking of <clears throat> strategy in my head. Like how how I would play? I would just be the last one. Yeah. No, but then the thing is, you're it's but a nobody, random number. Yeah, it's about knows timing and oh. steel. So, so let's say let's say you're the last one though, but she's the first one and opens AirPod Maxes and you want AirPod Maxes. Vitz steals it, right? And then third person steals it. It's done. Wait, 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 it's done. Even, you can't. Steal you didn't anymore. even get a shot because you were yeah. last. So. Would, it, would it not make more? Would it not make more sense if? Nobody gets to open their gift until everybody chose. No, that's that's the that's the violent part of it. Because you get to the, open it. Yeah, then it would be too easy to calculate. Like you're you're making the it's a betting game. You're making the bet that either I can time the steals right so that I could steal the gift that I want, or I should draw from the middle of the pile. But if you all open it, then every gift based on your order, you know the best one when the best. The, the, the first four people are going to get the best ones because each gift is going to get stolen twice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I feel like it would make more, the game would make more sense if... If it wasn't if open? Blind. Yeah, if no one got... To, so now you're just basing it on size and whatever. Oh, oh you then, don't unwrap it at all. Exactly. Until and then, the whole game is... Oh, that's kind of smart. And right? then and then, and then what? And <laughs> it's then, probably healthier for the friend yeah, group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, you, everyone's gift is wrapped, and then but you try to wrap it like the shape. And maybe you can give a hint because if it's in a box, yeah, everything's maybe, in a box. Like, you could do it either a hint or like, I'm thinking like size Like wise. an electronic and this is a fucking and cooking. There's like a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> like a car wrapped. But so then everyone would have a fully wrapped gift and it's like, okay, I think I like the shape of that. It's an electronic. I'll steal it. You know? So okay, you so really, giving hints. Okay. Yeah, if, you're, yeah. if you're doing this with eight people, right? And just like they said, the first, you get two steals. Yeah. The first four people are going to get the best gifts. Uh no, because the first no, the first yeah, couple the first, gifts may not be the gift that the people people gifts. want. It could be like an avocado mm. and hand soap. You know what I'm saying? So like honestly, white elephant is like fun. It's a fun yeah. game, but it has destroyed friendships. Like yeah. destroy did, you, did you guys hear what yeah, I said? Yeah, yeah, it destroyed. Yeah. It could it could be like the first gifts could be an avocado and an, at a hand soap from Asa. No, but there's a no, but there's a there's a <laughs> hey, 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 there's a price. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I feel like this is I feel what? like that's directed towards somebody. What? I gave you that gift. You what didn't you like the gift? What are you talking about? The avocado. So first of all, you remember the rules, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was up to forty dollars. We set up a cap to $50. on the gift. Dollars. So no, it's not up to. It's minimum fifty dollars. You said. No, that's your mistake. Oh. That's why you got him AirPod Maxes, and that's why he got Brando a free gift that he recycled. Let's not forget that. Yeah, I took him weird. out to dinner. Hey, but time out, time out. So that was that was that was your rebuttal because you felt so bad because everyone was like scumbag. <laughs> Listen, you didn't like that expensive hand soap. I loved it. But I loved AirPod Maxes more. <laughs> Even though there was a gift limit, you gave somebody a free gift that you got from somebody else. Why, why, why are you out to a nice What did you get? I'm not complaining. I'm saying oh, yeah, he's yeah. dissing my get? gift. What did, you, what did you, get? you get? What did you get? I got slides. What Easy. kind of slides? Uh, Yeezy, uh, Yeezy slides. slides. Yeezy slides. Expensive slides. Hey, you want to? So hear you're getting Yeezy slides right? and hey. you're giving an avocado. Hey, what did you give? It's all about pants. <laughs> that you pants have a seventy-five dollar retail value. Yeah, that you got hey, you see why this shit causes problems? Secret Santa and White Elephant a little bit sometimes. Yeah, you've been it, holding it, this back for a whole calendar year. It gets people year. bitter. It honestly gets people bitter. So let me tell you my story. Not okay? the people I give gifts for. They're always happy. Me too. Yeah. I, I'm a actually I no. Like when Eddie gets me. <laughs> actually no. I I I did this prank where the past two three White Elephant I gave shitty White Elephant gifts, and then the last one. One, I gave them a the the yeah, headphones, the the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. AirPods. <laughs> Mr. You're tried and yeah, true, like David De <laughs> David Dobrik and Tesla. She's Esther with AirPods. AirPod Max. No, and then yeah. and then so and then so when it was White Elephant, they're like, which one did Esther bring? So they don't choose it. Right? Oh. Yes, yes. And then I was, just, I, was just like, I was just like, and I'd be like, no, you guys, you guys pick it, please. Like, it's a good one. I promise. They're like, no. Damn. And the last, the past, the past, like three times, Esther gave horrible gifts. And and mind you. Hey, I've been doing this for four hey, years. Fifty, yeah, fifty dollar. It was like a maximum or minimum of fifty dollars, right? Sounds and I'm like, like hey, us. fifty dollars worth of scratchers ain't a bad gift. It's not. What if you win more? Yep. You may not win anything. I would take that shit in a heartbeat. That's what I'm saying. And heartbeat. I would love it. I would pick that gift over anything. Anyways, so yeah, they were. It was just not gifts that they would want, and so. They were like, no, Esther, Esther brought that one. They're like, I know Esther brought that. Don't pick that one, you know? And then, yeah, they, and then they, and then one person was like, you know what? Whatever. Esther's saying it's good. So they picked it. Now everyone's like, 
what the hell? And now people are want to people want to steal it. And I felt bad for the person that actually picked it because they were like, you know what, they Esther said it was stolen. Yeah, yeah, they're, no, because they, they were like actually believing him, and they're like, you know what, Esther said it's a good gift. Let's not like, let's not like roast her, you know. And she, she picked it, and then the other two people that were doubting me stole it from her, and then oh. that cr- that created that created kind of like a very bitterness <laughs> feeling, right? Yeah, honestly, fuck this game. This game sounds yeah. evil as fuck. I love it. It'd it, have to be played this way. Yeah, I like this way. Yeah. No, honestly, that was a smart way. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. I would do it. We've rebranded White Elephant to Vitfilifant. <laughs> Vit- what? Vitfilant. Hey, Vitfilant. Just, just name into it. White Vit. <laughs> He's That's like Victor. <laughs> yeah, cheeseburgers That's and Victor. turkey. <laughs> no, but okay. No, actually, I feel like Vit's name would be Vance for some reason. Vance, yeah, I Vance. can see Vance. With his hat like that or too. Yeah, this similar style hair, like the yeah. fucking skater hair with the fucking hat. Vance or, or Vaughn, but like A U G H N. Vaughn is a good one. Oh, but two years ago, right? Two years ago, I uh, one of my friends cried because she didn't like the Jesus. gift she got. And I was like, Cry? Yeah, I was like, Are you serious? No Bro, grow the fuck but, up. No, no, but listen though, but listen, it was it was it was kind of sad because the person that brought that gift genuinely thought it was a good gift. Ugh. And then so when she opened what it- What spoiled shit is this? Yeah, hey, relax, relax, relax. She's like, that was me. <laughs> no, no, relax. No, no, it was, no, I don't give a fuck what I get, nah, man. I don't give no, a but fuck. like crying over a, a white elephant? I know, I know. Thing? But like, she was, I, she's later on said she was going through some stuff, but then she was- but the, <laughs> Yeah, that, that was very no, necessary but, but context. I, but, but listen. I was judging the shit out of your friend No, 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 now. it was honestly so like, it was like, what the heck moment? Because the girl that brought it, she kind of like sulked. She was like, kind of like, oh. Like I just made you cry. Like, yeah, and then and then it was it was. Can we know what the gift was? Did you just heard this yes, show? it was a it was a sage, sage and like crystal box. I would cry too. I would also cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, no, tears. Throw it so, out right in front of her. I'm, yeah, I'm in tears. No, no. But then before before <laughs> before she uh, opened it, um, she was like, oh, that's my gift. She was like, oh, so I went to the store. I was there for like an hour trying to pick what I should get. Uh, I, I talked to I talked to the store owner and like uh, I was like, you know. And then when she opened it, when she cried, and she was like, I don't want this gift. And she was like, I, honestly, I would rather just take the gift that I brought. Oh, I was oh like, nah, come on, bro. I was like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, I would nev- Yo, I would never do and white elephant fault. with your friends. With this sounds terrible. <laughs> I was like, you know what? You can take my gift. I'll take it. So I took the sage one. Damn. What was your gift? Uh, I don't remember what I got. I think I, d- I don't remember. By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have that disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. Let's say we were playing this white elephant, $50 limit. Uh-huh. This group, what do you what do you think would be the best fire gift? Okay, well, I don't know about the best fire gift for us, but I do know that if you guys are going to a secret center or a white elephant, I know the perfect gift for y'all because it is Super Recovery by Super Banzai. Oh, but what if it was me. limit, mm. limit, it, it was uh, minimum $50. Okay, mi- all right. Two well, Super, no, we, two super uh, Banzai. <laughs> Bust down on Yeah, the three pack is on sale. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, well then you guys are fucking billionaires Damn I didn't know that we were doing minimum gifts Yeah minimum is kind of weird like, Regardless so- regardless, right This is one of the best I think Stocking stuffer gifts you can possibly get people This holiday season because one It works and two One of the most common things people get people for holidays Is alcohol Bottle of wine, bottle of whiskey right So Because you're like oh I could buy a nice bottle for like a hundred bucks I know they'll drink it Etc etc But pair this with it or just do this Because I promise you Everybody needs this in their lives. Everybody does. Anyone that drinks needs this in their life. 
and you would be putting them onto something new. It's cool looking. It's small. It can, you know what I mean? Like, it's not so expensive. You can fit it up. Yes. It's not so expensive that you're going to be like, oh, I can't get this person this gift because it's too expensive. This is something you can buy. Like, you know, right now we're doing bundle discounts up to 42%, right? So, like, you could get that shit for real cheap and hand it out to all your friends. And yep. boom. Yep, it yep. is a, uh, it's kind of like a fun party trick because, again, people are still aren't familiar. Like, they're like, oh, I take liquid IV. Now I'm like, no, this is specifically... Yeah. For alcohol, you don't have to drink all that sugar, blah, blah, blah. Yep. And it's fun the next day when they're like, whoa, what was that stuff? Oh, that worked. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, where can I get some Hang more? Hang on, did you, you got see, any more of that? <laughs> did you see that huge article that's going viral? Oh, the of safety memes? shot. Yeah, but that, that company has fucking billions of dollars to spend or some Wait, what shit, is this? dude. What is this company? Okay, so, so basically there's a meme going around where it's like scientists discover it's a, a drink. It's like a, it's like a news article, fake news article. Yeah, but no, but listen, we think it's a scam and I can explain further. Mm -hmm. So there's apparently a company out there where scientists have created a drink that when you drink it within 30 minutes, it'll cut your blood alcohol level in half so if you're like belligerent like 0 0.8 0 0.08 is the legal limit right let's say you're like 0 0.1 0 0.1 you know up there 0 0.13 it'll cut it down to below the legal limit you'll be like 0 0.06 in 30 minutes which technically so you'll be you're able like to drive, drive. For, oh so, whoa for like how long though like for no it doesn't like kick the alcohol back up you're you're sober now what? It sobers you what's claiming to do claiming yeah. to do but listen that's crazy so my uh, my friend did some digging and like the way that the company is structured, it's a SPAC, which stands for, I forgot what it stands for, but long story short, the founders don't have any obligation to hold on to their stock. This feels almost like a pump and dump. Oh, so like yeah. when, so when the stock started, it's like interesting. It's like the stock was at like 75 cents or something like that. They started running the PR on it. You saw it going crazy everywhere. The stock is now at like $4 or something like that. And this is all based on like an article that's like very unclear. I don't think there's like a website. Yeah, it was and, like a meme page yeah, that posted yeah, yeah, this exactly. article. Is it so legal? Stupid it's not bio. no it no no there's something yeah, no no there's it's not it's not legal but uh like what how do you go back in court and be like i didn't make those memes like i wasn't the one like who knows how to track whether or not whether or not they push the news story but nobody even like my thinking is the product doesn't actually really exist and this is a, uh, a pump and dump yeah. just like the way that it's set but up how but. cool would that be if that was real oh it'd be crazy I would want the opposite. I would want something that gets me absolutely hammered in 30 minutes and I don't have to drink an excessive oh. amount and it doesn't give me a hangover. I see, I see. Imagine if you just took yeah, one that's shot called, in That's your... called Molly. Yeah, but oh. no hangover and none, none of the bad effects. No, you weren't there. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah. Well, you guys, what, what, you guys took got some... fucking went into uh, a K-hole. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. First Where? time ever. Where? During an event. During an event. Yeah, like, Let's just leave it at okay? that. Yeah. Yeah. I like, thought I was okay. I was not. He was not okay. <laughs> but you guys from the out, like he thought inside of his K hole he was okay. But then no, you guys, no, no, he was clearly not okay. Well, oh, when it started, I was like, okay. oh, dude, when it started, I was like, because I've done K like twice in my life and it's never acted like that. So I was like, okay. Although it's a you took weird. a fat bump. Yeah. yeah. And then um, girthy, girthy. that shit hit me and it was like, whoa. What does the K hole feel like? Because I've done K, but like, it I don't think I. It felt like my body, like I was looking at. At my body, wow. I kept telling. There was a he certain. I'm, I'm Gojo. I'm Gojo. I'm in a do domain expansion right now. <laughs> That's all I can say. What? Don't it, do it drugs. Also like, it also kind of feels like you're claustrophobic, even though you're not like. You K hold. I've K hold. I've almost K hold before. Yeah. So so for you though, I was what, stuck in that did bitch. you know exactly where you were? You're like, oh, I'm at. I'm at this place. Yeah, with these but it was it was because like, I had to keep telling myself. I'm like. It literally felt, other than like the out of body feeling, it also felt like like I was watching a movie of myself, and it was like frame by frame. At the event, though, yeah. where are you at? Whoa! Wait, uh, how long did it last? Uh, almost like two hours. Damn. Oh, damn. Yep. Was damn. that miserable? Huh? It was That's miserable. I was having fun. You were having fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I remember I went to the bathroom and I puked, and I puked all over the seat. I was in there, literally could could barely move. Just took the paper. I had to clean this toilet. <laughs> <laughs> what are you watching yourself in third person doing this? Like that's what literally it felt like a like. GTA video game. And that's what it felt like because I, I I think I was looking at my surroundings and then my, the looking. way my brain would relay information is like this is where you're at. This is what you're doing. That Instead would be of, that'd be so wild if he could see someone from the distance coming to him and he's like, oh, Wu Tak's coming over to me right yeah. now. Oh, like it was crazy. Literally yeah, out of yeah. Body? Th th that would be crazy. No, it was it was crazy. It's like DMT. Yeah.
You guys uh, don't do drugs. Yeah, no drugs, guys. Yeah, experiment. Wait, uh, best gift under 50, Nectar 2. No, I'm just kidding. But I just want to quickly plug new variety pack. Should be out everywhere by now. We should have announced that it's rolling out in Texas, some places in Bay Area, Washington. I don't know about New York and New Jersey, but we've made the flight. We've improved all the recipes. And then we also dropped a new flavor, green grape. So go out and get it. Link in bio. Find the store closest to you. Appreciate the support. Yeah. Wait, but for real though, if there's a gift under hundred dollars or a little over a hundred dollars, what would you guys give? The three for pack girl, of super girl. recovery the, for a girl. And the five pack of super recovery. The four <laughs> pack of nectar and the four pack. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you I like your girl? idea. Which Your one? idea is uh, uh, scratchers. It's, it's like super no, simple. What, no, no, my you, friends like that. Yeah, but I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I wouldn't like if that. you walk I into a ra- it, right, like if you walk into a random group of people and you don't know, like I'd be like, oh, scratchers, that's kind of fun. Oh yeah, for a random people, you oh, don't random. know. Okay, let's say for us, like, what are you guys really for getting? Friends? That, yeah, yeah, but we don't know who the gift is going to end up with. What, what are you going to bring to oh, this? Oh, like white elephant. Yeah, yeah white shit. elephant style. What do you bring? I think scratchers is a good one. Hell no, I'd be so pissed. I would cry. Yeah, I would cry too. Really? But what if you won like? Maybe like a bucks. sweater, like a hoodie. A hoodie. Yeah. Maybe like a yeah, but closer. sizing is tough. A no, I know their hoodie. sizes. I know also, all you guys are such fashion too. snobs. I'm not. I was thinking everything. like 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 That's platform Uggs, um, <laughs> like slippers. Slippers. Yeah, slippers. Like Yeezy slides or like a unisex pair. No, slippers. You need sizing. I know all of their sizes. I think. But then you'd have to buy everyone's size. What? What? It's a white elephant gift. Anyone could. Oh end no up no! With we're it. doing Secret Santa this year. Wait, is this maximum or minimum? No, 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 we're talking about we're talking about a hypothetical why best elephant? gift. Oh, best gift definitely for not shoes. Or under. Yeah, not you were shoes. answering a whole different question. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I said I'm doing Secret Santa, not okay. white elephant. What's the question? Elephant. What? Best yeah, well, gift I'm for under a hundred dollars for white elephant. For unisex. For, for both? And yeah, okay. yeah, for for this group. Expensive candles. But wait, ooh, isn't white elephant the same principle as Secret no, Santa? No, because Secret Santa, you you draw the person beforehand. Oh, you know exactly so I know you, and I'm buying the gift for you. So more personal. White personal. elephant is random. Yeah. But it's like, let's say we're playing white elephant in this group. I'm, I, I think expensive candles are nice. Everyone could use a candle. Soap, really nice hand soap. A QTI hat. And for somebody who's really into their health, avocado, it's high in fats. It's the most expensive fruit out there right now. Oh, <laughs> hey, you're gambling. Either I get it or he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> he cares about his health. I die. <laughs> for him, it's like the most offensive gift. For you, also offensive because you're just a fucking baby. He's allergic. You're just a baby. Anyone else would appreciate an avocado? Hey, re- re- comment down below. If you got an avocado <laughs> and your co-host got Yeezy Slides and AirPod Maxes. Well, what did you get for the other people, though? I got him a nice $75 <laughs> pair of sweatpants. Reused. A free gift that he re-gifted. Hey, wait. Well, okay, actually, this was a funny and interesting take. So some guy on TikTok was talking about how like designer brands are dying. Burberry, LV. like Kids don't really care about that. They're looking for cool, underground, like yes. yeah, unique fashion. And someone in the comments wrote, the new luxury is food. And I was like, they're so right. Look at stores like Air One and look at the way that people are down to buy for their health. They're buying electrolytes. They're buying supplements, like Thorn nah. supplements. They're going and shopping. You're right. Not in the Midwest, but I'm saying no, in no, even, big cities. Hold on. In LA, let's base it L.A., we're doing. We're still doing as as a Christmas gift. No, 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 no. No, sorry, no, this is not it. Christmas. This is a fully different topic. Yeah, sorry, different topic. This guy is just all over the place. Yeah, what? Yeah, Zero sorry, transitional sorry. ability. Just no, like your gift giving. No, ability. no, no. Because he was sucks. talking about avocados and expensive foods, and it triggered something in my head. Okay. But, but you're saying that fashion is dying. Like all the big name brands are dying. Big name brands are dying, and where Four. people are liking to spend their money. And the comments were just like, where people are spending mm. their money, and food has become a luxury. Yeah, I was gonna foods, say most grass LA- fed meats. Like fancy water, like all that shit. People. But but most LA people would still rather buy like Rick Owens. Yeah, I feel like designer is not dead at all. To be honest with you, <laughs> like big brands, like maybe I don't for see, you. I, like I think clearly it's dead for you. I can understand. Clearly that. that shit was never alive on you. Yeah, yeah maybe you should I'm get not, a stylist for yeah, Christmas. Yeah, because I wouldn't get scammed. I mean, that's the reason yeah, fire, why. Fire I that you. fucking I, life I coach think I know what he's stylist. saying. It's just <laughs> Cause like before, especially with like 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 uh, with artists, like it would be flaunting like the biggest designs. Like mm-hmm. it would be like a huge Burberry button down, clearly Burberry because of the design itself, or like, or like Polo or whatever. LV, LV, yeah. LV, but Gucci. now it's like it's all it is more underground. I could see yeah. it's just it's, it's more kid hidden. That's yeah. making like revenge. Yeah, or like clothing. the dude that was making those jeans. Like you bought his jeans over like you know. Discontinued. That shit was gas. Yeah, so yeah. I get what you're saying. 
But also, food <clears throat> is becoming more of a luxury. Like mountain spring water, people walk around with bottles of that shit. Or like people want the pink pineapples. Yeah, people, they want like, the they want is, the this, different this is, shit. You know, as somebody who has zero fashion sense, I don't think you should speak on this, but I'll hey. step in real quick. Uh, so what's really happening is big brands like. <laughs> I, I do have a take, but you're looking at me kind of rudely. I'd, I'd appreciate it if you stopped. I'm interested because he's, you know. Take sucks. He, he, he's, Bored of he's, it. He's, he's an expert. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I have drip. So uh, uh, listen uh, up, buddy. I know. I, I've, Jeremy I've, has I've his own it. style. Speaking of Eddie calling you the expert. Oh. Should we transition? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait Because yeah, yeah. I, I, I do have a take on this. I do okay, have a take okay. on this. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> wait, my I want to take. I oh, don't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're okay, so right look, look, big brands like the old school luxury, like Louis Vuitton, Burberry, right? They're so big and they're so old school and they're so corporate. You don't really, like, yes, their shit's expensive, but you have no attachment to the cloth making process. Example, the, the jeans that I bought that are like, quote unquote expensive, $200. I don't think they're expensive because the quality is so immaculate and I'm watching this dude on TikTok craft it by hand himself, right? Oh, okay. So for me, when I'm buying clothes, I'm like, I want quality. And I, and then he's going through the pants. Like he's like, I got this pocket right here for your phone slit, like going through like the features and why he did this. He's like, I stitched this for this reason. There's like an educational factor on why his pants cost the amount they do. With Burberry and Louis Vuitton, it's like, this shit is $400 because I'm Louis Vuitton, bitch. Like yeah. buy that shit, you know? And it's like, so that's the difference of like the new age brands versus the old brands. It's like to compete with the old brands, like these people now take to the internet and story tell you why their clothes cost so much. It's like the denim, I literally imported that shit from Japan. You know what I'm saying? Like they, and the reason why I'm importing shit from Japan is because only this area of Japan makes this quality of denim. <laughs> He's like, this leather bell, I slapped the shit out of the cow. <laughs> <just> <laughs> Just like, <laughs> it depends if you used to press cows that eat only grain versus like happy grass fed cows that are fucking all the time and shit like they're gonna be a better quality <laughs> leather <laughs> no 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 never mind it's gonna be crazy it's too late now alright do you wanna rip into Eddie now yeah speaking of crazy oh yeah what I've noticed a change what Okay, is this about how you you messaged him re replying whoa, whoa, to my story? Whoa, whoa. So listen, man. Oh, you replied to my story. Look what you've done to him. <laughs> he, he's got piercings all over his face. You gotta better explain that for the audience. Yeah. So I saw an Instagram story of you, and you were looking like a thought at the camera, putting your nose rings extra close. Then when you pulled out, you had a cigarette in your mouth wearing a leather jacket giggling like you were up to no good outside we up to outside a great good. outside during a family holiday with a cigarette in your mouth it was what is wednesday what, what, what is this? exactly you're, oh, cel you're out there celebrating in the streets for blackout wednesday about the story I posted. so listen eddie lately you know i thought that you were a you're, you're you're starting to cover yourself in piercings tattoos leather what's going on crop man crop tops huh? crop tops yeah. What's going on, man? What do you mean, what's going on? Cigarettes? What? C what Explain cigarettes? yourself. They be hitting you know, I started finding the, the cigarettes on our balcony. He smokes them at home. No, 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 you no. You let no. him. Those, I don't let him. He no, does no, it anyways. No, 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 no. Hold, 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 hold on. It's becoming hard hold to control. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to clear my name. Those are not my cigarettes. Oh, oh, oh so oh, those are one, one of your whores that you bring over every night. Buddy? No, I don't uh, No. He's no man, I don't bring whores. You do. No, I don't. <laughs> oh Continu yeah. Continuing, <laughs> continuing. Trying to divert. Yeah, for Wait, real. Back to you. What's going on, Eddie? Be honest. What you I don't know what you're, what you're asking me. What's cigarettes? going on with you? You're becoming a bad boy. You're becoming a bad boy. This was actually an intervention. Cigarettes. That's cigarettes. Going out to drink. Wearing leather. Copying my fashion and not giving me my props. Piercings. And did I not just say that this guy's an expert? Piercings, tattoos. Say it again. You're an expert. Say it word for word to the camera right now. <laughs> this guy, who's this guy? Is a master at Say work. Say his name. Wu Talk is yes. a master at work. Uh, what? <laughs> What's going on? You're like sunning him. Okay, why, why my voice for fashion? <laughs> fashion. So the trouble. Just the blueprint. If you want the blueprint, comment blueprint three. Um, yeah. Have you guys All seen right. a change in Eddie? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like it? Like me. Yeah, he's becoming more like me. <laughs> Just having fun. I, I've missed what, what man. Have I have seen? I have been in a relationship for my past <laughs> five years. Excuse me, I didn't get to live my life the way I wanted to. I mean, I did because clearly I was in a relationship for that for that amount of time. But I just I don't know. I'm having fun. I'm going out. The cigarettes uh, I picked that up while I was uh, traveling. 
So in Colombia, you went to Colombia and you came back with a cigarette addiction and what? And more piercings. More piercings. <laughs> I had piercings before I left. Oh, and tattoos. Wh- where's this more piercings? Did you get a new piercing? I just got a, uh, you got another a second nose, nose piercing. piercing. Oh. I got another piercing here. I was going to do the nipple if the, if the guy didn't tell me to hold on. Hmm. The nipple? Wait, why did they say hold on to, to Cause the nipple? Because you could be in the club with a fresh nipple piercing. He was like, traveling, that's why. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Esther, what changes have you seen in Eddie? Uh, I mean, same thing that you guys said. It's the... The extra piercings, the crop tops, um, and it's permanent hair. Women, I've yeah, been going out talking more. to girls, going out more often. That's it. Well, listen, That's I, this will all stop I as soon as I find a wife. I think you're skinnier. I think you have more light in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what this are you doing so tonight? Good. Yo, Vin, Vin found his. Vince like I can't yeah. let that go. Yeah. <laughs> He's always down to come out with me. Wait, did you guys go to the cl- club by yourself? Oh yeah, he assisted also. Nice. Vince yes, changed his ways. Yeah, I've been trying to. D- d- I told them. Yeah, trying to change his ways. This was hilarious. No, that's who I've always been. This was hilarious. We're at the we're at the bar, and then like I'm, I'm we're about to order drinks, and then he's talking to this girl. And all of a sudden he goes like, yo, pulls me. He's like, she's from Spain. <laughs> like, I'm like, okay. And then we just start t- chatting. And then uh, I met her friends. He just yeah. brought a, a, a random girl. Yeah. And no, just no, dropped, she, dropped she started talking to him. To him. No, we were at the bar. We were going to get shots. And yeah. then she, she said something to me. And then in my head, I was just like, whatever. And then she said she was going to Spain or she's from Spain. She was like, I'm only here for the weekend. I'm like, oh. I happen to have a boy that speaks Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made me Spanish. Die. That's what made me laugh as soon as I started talking. I'm like, what? And then he, and he's uh, and he's like, oh, she's from Spain. I was like, <laughs> he's trying. <laughs> I was like, he's hey, you trying. know what? He, he tried. Hey, for yeah. effort. Hey, for effort. It worked. Would be she nice cool. if I ever experienced that. You ever go you, out? You would have. You would have came out and you would have found out. Yeah. But I had work to do. I'm not like you hooligans. There's my work. That would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice. I'm a ground team. I was over here stressing. Guys, every time I'm out, I'm literally out. like, I run a podcast with my friends. We would love to have you on. Ah. To Ooh. random, yeah, right. <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't want, want to fuck. We don't, we want, don't want, want random people on. <laughs> <laughs> He's using the podcast yeah. to pull up girls. <laughs> hey, uh, but we forget that this is a Christmas episode. What is the best Christmas movie? Right now, uh, just one. Me, me, Name me. one. Elf. Boom. Come back. Boom. Home Alone. Oh, that's a good uh, one. I, 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 gotta, I gotta think about it a little bit. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part oh, 2. Those are not Christmas movies. They're Christmas yeah, movies. Dude, Harry Potter does not count They're as not. a Christmas movie. They are Christmas there movies. There is one, not Deathly Hallows Part 2. The third one, I think, perhaps. Uh, the Prisoner of Azkaban? Harry Potter and <laughs> the Prisoner of Azkaban. No, they're, they're just Harry Potter one movies. One of them is a, set during wintertime. Okay. Dude, it's it's it Christmas it, movies. I don't give a fuck. No, it's, it's not. It's movie. not a Christmas movie. It's just Harry Potter. It's a movie. Hey, I vote that it's just a Harry Potter movie. It's just movie. a Harry I Potter movie. I don't care. It's a Christmas movie But one me. of them is... They had a whole scene where they literally opened presents for yeah. each other. So it's, that's it's, in it's fucking... It's so Christmas Okay, coded. you know what? I get it. I get it. You could watch that episode. I mean, Why that, are you that... be getting swayed so easy, bro? Oh, you're right. I be doing oh. that. Yeah, stand on your oh. business. Oh. oh. Stand on your business. Eight Crazy Nights. Good points, nights. you guys. Good point. Eight Crazy Nights. I've never even seen that. I don't what the even fuck know that. It's an Adam Sandler movie. Wait, what is it called? Wanna, you want to be different so bad. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's your best, different. That's your no, best that shit Christmas made me cry. Movie? That movie is so good. Yeah, everything makes you cry. Oh, it's a Hanukkah movie. Ooh, Eight Crazy like Nights. It. No, but... Because Adam Sandler's Jewish. Really? <laughs> yeah, it just clicked yeah, in my brain. He is Jewish, but... but Is it a Hanukkah movie? Yeah. No, it's technically Christmas. Oh. It's Eight Crazy Nights, though. Come on, that's the... That's a Hanukkah movie. You yeah, know what? Then I can't, I can't help it. It was fucking better. I like Make Little Women. Make better Christmas movies, then. I like Little Women. Little Women? You know, oh, little woman Grandma little got hit by a reindeer. You guys deadass think that Harry Potter movies are not Christmas movies? I mean, they're, okay, they're you're talking about theme movies. Yeah, you're, you're describing one scene where they have a Christmas no, 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 scene in it. Okay, scene. that could be watched during Christmas. Christmas coded. It's Where's a Christmas Santa? movie. Hagrid. Hagrid is Santa. Wait, why the fuck am I defending this? <laughs> fuck you. Got your ass. No. You agree. Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore nah, nah, Santa. Nah. You know Dumbledore Potter is uh, gay? You know Dumbledore's gay. Yeah, in real life? that's for real. No, no, it's it's hinted it's at in the movie. No, it's confirmed though. Hinted in the book. It's Wait, confirmed though. It's for? confirmed. Oh, he com- she confirmed it? it. Oh, it was definitely confirmed. But I thought she did the, the Fantastic Beast. But did yeah. she not do that to protect herself from being anti-trans? Yeah, yeah probably. But like, oh, but I mean, I think guess let's she's let's gay. separate the art from the artist. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Harry but Potter she is noted. the one who gives them their characters. I forgot who was supposed. To, I think it was um. She creates the. Bro, who was it? What? Who's Dumbledore? His, his, his lover. Oh, um, uh, Grimwald. 
Yeah, Grimwald, not Voldemort. Uh, Grimwald sounds so decrepit. What's he look like? Is he a baddie? Oh, he's supposed to be Johnny Depp, but they changed him. Yeah. Oh, okay, so he's Grimwald was a basically like Voldemort before before Voldemort. He's the bad guy, yeah. yeah. Wait, does he turn into Voldemort? No, no. no. Just Voldemort, Voldemort with... was Tom Riddle. Tom yes, Riddle. man. You don't even hey, know shit about Harry Hey, but Potter. don't doesn't Tom Riddle's name, it's an acronym? For Voldemort. No, I no, am, it's not. It's not. It's no, an no. aneurysm. It's an aneurysm? Wait, anagram? I, anagram? Anagram? What's an anagram? What's it for? What? What's the, what's the anagram? Tom Riddle. What the fuck is an anagram again? It's like it's the letters when you take, when you take the same letter. letters and you move move yeah. them around. It's a it's different like, word. It's like how Santa oh, is an anagram anagram for Satan. What is happening? <laughs> no, Voldemort is what's, an is anagram that? for something. I think. No, no, no. Anagram is the first letter. It all makes something, right? No, no dude. No. The, anagram the is when you an take. Acronym. That's an acronym. acronym. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is literally like five <laughs> idiots Bro, trying to an, okay, figure out Okay, anagram, like very I'll tell you words. right now. I'll tell you right now. An anagram, let's say Asians, you have a group of letters, right? A group of Asians letters. Figure out and English. you can make words out of them. And each group, like, like, let's say you have a group of 10 letters. You can make several words out of them. So uh, I've lost a, interest in what an anagram is. So what he's trying is. to say, he's trying to say that, uh, never mind. It's just gonna, whatever. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'm what about? I was trying to explain it. Yeah, but yeah, but it just took 15 minutes to explain an anagram. I gave up on anagrams. Hey, but the what? The what is it when the words spell something else? It's like a, all the letters get used up. An to spell anagram, anagram, man, damn. No, I thought an anagram is you could spell like cat out of uh, no, Tom Riddle. Can like, on? can we fucking move okay, on okay. from this? We've given up. We are breaking stereotypes on this podcast. Not all Asians are smart. Hey, yeah. but yeah, Harry Potter, not a Christmas movie, but there's a Christmas yes, scene it in is. it. It's not something you turn on. It's yes, like, oh, it's it Christmas is. Day. Let's turn on Harry Potter Prisoner of Vance. Okay, yes, okay. it is. Okay, then I have a question. Is Mean Girls a Christmas movie? No. No. That's but a Halloween a, movie. No, no, but there's Christmas. Yeah, it's Christmas not the same scene. reasoning. Not, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, it's not. Hey. I'm not saying that Harry Potter is a Christmas movie. If you say one, something about anagrams, bro. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Lord Voldemort is an anagram for the character's birth name, Tom Morvolo. Yeah. Oh, that's why it was Marvolo. 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 So I was like, where the fuck is the V, dog? Yeah. yeah. Or who? Tom Anyways, Riddle. yeah, Dumbledore's game. Tom Riddle. Hey, but who is who? And he's clapping Grimwald's cheeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> what? Eddie is? Huh? What? Dumbledore. You said Eddie. You said Eddie. No, I said. You said Grimwald's cheeks. No, he said, is Eddie clapping? No, and okay. he's clapping. Tristan, did he say and, okay. Eddie? He said, no, no, he said, no. And, he said Eddie. No, he's he right next to me. I, I heard him. He said, and he's clapping. And then you heard well, Eddie's. You want to clap cheeks so bad you're hearing your name in any well, fucking. I heard Eddie. Am I getting gassed? Thank you, that, thank you, that you. Dude, run the tape back. Nah, matter of fact, everyone comment down below. What did he say? He said Eddie and or he. Eddie? Also, also. And he. You, you guys. Heard, and Eddie, right? I heard Eddie, but you also comment if if Harry Potter is a Christmas movie. It is. Or not. It's a fucking Christmas okay, movie. Okay, what did you hear? We'll I heard see. Eddie. Hey, 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 hey. I'm if, the one that said what? No, but Eddie doesn't make sense. He said, and he's, he's clapping, clapping Grimwald's cheeks. cheeks. He said that. No, but he could have said Eddie clapped. I, that makes sense, I too. I heard wrong. Okay. Okay. But that's well, okay. you're mature I enough to right. admit that. Yeah. All right? Yeah. I wish my parents were I'm, 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 I'm mature as well. <laughs> you know, what the fuck? <laughs> you, to be you know how so many bad? arguments, bro? As a small child, listening to their arguments, uh, like dead ass, they used to argue about like one of them just hearing something wrong. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> question. Who else is who else is gay in Harry Potter? Just Dumbledore? Just I Dumbledore. guess just I Dumbledore. So, just more. And Dumbledore. this came out in in the Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. Yeah. And Snape was a cuck. Oh, no, Snape no, was no, super no, cucking. no, he was not. Who was he getting Snape, cucked by? Snape oh, Harry Potter's, in real love. Yeah. Harry Potter's mom. Snape is my favorite character by the way, but he was Snape a cuck. Snape was the anti-hero. Wait, Snape was, Snape was, was Snape to the Harry Potter universe is the same as Itachi, Itachi to the Naruto universe. Uh, I gotta oh. watch Harry Potter again. I, I forget. I know Snape obviously is a good guy at the end, but like. I wanna watch Harry Potter. We should watch it together. No. Anyways, what backstory. Snape was in love with Harry Potter's mom back yeah, in the Lily back Potter. in the day. Yeah, yeah, back in the day. But Lily Harry Potter Paul? back in the day. Did, back, <laughs> Lily Potter didn't want the nice guy. She wanted the fucking she exactly the fuck boy. Yeah. So her and what was it James Potter? Yeah, James, James Potter, his Harry Potter's dad, was a they bad got boy. married. Huh? He was a bad boy. Yeah, yeah he was a he was riding a broom wearing was, leather. No, no, he was literally a <laughs> fucking. He was a fuck boy. Him, 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 and the Gryffindor, like they were like frat bros, and they were like oh. bullying like the emo kid Snape. Like yeah. what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I forget really? all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Lily was the only fuck? one nice to him. Yep. Lily. And Lily so. was like, "Leave him alone. Mm -hmm. He's the nice guy." Snape Meanwhile, she's fucking James. Wow. <laughs> you fucking thought. 
<laughs> so is that why is that why Snape Loki doesn't kind of like Harry? No, no, that's why Snape was actually the one. Well, he doesn't like Harry because he rem- Harry reminds him of James because he looks like yeah. him. Yeah. Exactly but like his dad. because of how much he loves Lily, and li- I think Lily asked him to protect yeah, him yeah, when yeah, she yeah. died. Yeah. Snape is the Everything stepfather Snape. that stepped up. Wait, wait, really? how the fuck is James a baddie if he looks like Harry Potter? Because Harry <laughs> Potter does not look like a baddie. I didn't say a baddie. I said a bad boy. He's a bad boy. Harry Potter's not a bad boy. He's right. Not, <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm oh just, my god! Do d- d- don't even bother. Don't even. Don't yeah, don't you're not, back. You're not worth explaining <laughs> to you, Harry you, Potter. You literally lost the whole point. Go back oh to fourth grade. <laughs> oh, this damn. is, this is I'm what I'm noticing. Happened. Why I'm noticing why you shouldn't have told that story. Wait, I'm hungry. Oh. Anyways, Anyways, I'm hungry. We have but not yeah, So James Potter, it was funny because you know Sirius Black and their boy Remus Lupin. Yeah, they I would literally that, like yeah. beat up on Snape. Damn, and I feel Snape bad was, for Snape now. Yeah, I felt bad for Snape too. I'm like <laughs> Snape, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm a nice guy. When when the whole story came out, I remember it changed the world. It literally, when, yeah. When Snape's fucking like backstory came out and like it turned out that he was actually the good guy. Oh, in the last the best, book. Yeah, no, yeah, not yeah. the last. When oh, he it died. Was, yeah, yeah. It was no the, the book number six, I think, yeah, that it came book out. Number six. The Half Blood Prince, because Snape, was, yeah, because Snape was, was the Half Blood Prince. Yeah, Dude, I, you don't know shit. No, 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 no. Here's the problem. I was young. The first book came out when I was in third grade, so like they were coming out when I was like younger. Damn. So I, yeah, I read them a long time ago. <laughs> and on, on top of that, they were so long. When I would get to the end, I would forget what was happening in the beginning, I and read, then I would move to the next book. I read every book I think seven times Ooh. minimum. Damn. Yeah. yeah, no friends. I, I told no people I read it, but I never read it. Yeah. I, I would be under that. the covers. <laughs> she told everyone she read the books. I said, yeah, I watched. I, I read it, <laughs> but I never read it before. I just watched the movies. And then I'll chime in. That's so Esther-like. That's, yeah. so, that's such an it's Esther. Like a I will birth. say, though, the Harry Potter movie series uh, is, is one of the rare ones that, like, I watched it. Pretty I'm like close to the book. Yeah, I watched it. I was like, this is pretty close. I to gotta the watch them again. Maybe I'll watch one tonight, bro. Low key, Harry, the last Harry Potter movie, The Deathly Hallows Part Two, Guess. was crazy good. Like, because it was later in life when CGI was popping off. Yeah. Yep. And the the contents of the content is so valid, and they so legit dark. stuck to it so well that they were fucking popping off on that. Dude, shit. So I stopped watching them after the third movie because I just got lazy. I, I was like, so it'll be like a new experience. You know, I've noticed about Jeremy, he's too lazy to enjoy life yeah. that's literally I'm enjoying life by not being plugged into the matrix of like he's, oh Hollywood Hollywood oh give me more take my attention oh I gotta go I need all this uh, stimulation I can just be at peace hey, I actually hated Harry Potter I would Potter not use the up. words at peace to describe you I hated Harry Potter growing up because it was too <gasps> popular but but this guy wants to be different no no no. <laughs> then, no 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 but then I saw the hype I saw the hype afterwards my, my ex got me into it and then I watched all the movies then I got so obsessed with it I started listening to like the lore finding out about all the information like about, I love the, the, the see the, how wrong you be dude, dude, I was wrong, wrong. I was That's so obsessed fire. with that shit I was reading Harry Potter fanfics <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Nick, drop drop hey, a fanfic. Drop a fanfic. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't oh, remember the name. No, I'm imagining like serious black and hairy like kissing. No, no gay shit. It was uh, like, it was no, fanfiction.net. No but the Lupin though, the Wolf Boy. <laughs> no, there was one I read about uh, Hermione ending up with Harry that was fire. Oh, that's pretty. Bro, cool. and some of these, some of it these makes fan more fictions, sense yeah, honest. some of these fan fictions, like dead ass, should be like published. Ron should yeah. have been with his sister, and Harry should have been with Hermione. Damn, I've never been obsessed what? like what? that. Whoa, 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 what? Whoa! I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> yes, I did. Yo, shout out Neville. <laughs> they were the Hicks. Yo, the Weasleys were the Hicks of they Harry Potter actually, universe. They were. Yo, actual glow up. Neville was crazy Neville. in the movies. Oh yeah, Neville oh, was yeah. a beast. When Neville. they all of a sudden they came out, and I was like, "What the hell? Bro, How did ne- your Neville yeah. Loki is a sword is a magical swordsman because he had." He has a sword and he's using magic. Beast. Yeah. I like how Dude, we just I forget, nerd. I forget all these characters. I gotta watch these movies again. I would actually be down to rewatch them. My yeah. question is never mind. It's, let me not put this on the podcast. What's a better uh franchise? Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? <laughs> hey man, we're doing a podcast. You guys are whispering and giggling. <laughs> we're having more fun without you, man. Unplug your mic and leave. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no. Hey, dude. You gotta fuck up the audio. No. Where's he actually going? My son got a flat wall behind him. I thought he was caking. Anyways, I have a question. What's a better movie series? Harry Potter? Or <laughs> <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> hey, ask it. Oh! Hey, he's the one who's asking it, you idiot. Yeah, but you were mean to me. Oh, hey, sorry. Bye. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, let's. He violated himself on my toe. 
Hey, we'll That's talk. what you get for biting me. You literally entered my body. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, your body. Hey, is that shit stinky? Well, all they do is fight. The, hey. next, the next question is, what's a better movie series? Stop. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Twilight. Oh, fuck, that's a good one, too. What are you doing? Twilight. Pick up your mic. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. Your hat. Have you guys ever heard of the Huddy Girl no. story? Okay, it's a viral, viral TikTok, okay? It's about two girls that lives in LA, okay? Oh, and this is what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and one girl, her name is Kelly, she talks about how she <laughs> ghosts her best friend slash roommate because of because she thought that she was gonna steal her friend Joanna was stealing her boyfriend or trying to trying steal to, yeah, trying yeah. to steal her boyfriend. Okay, so she gave us three points. The first point was that she said that Joanna added her boyfriend to her close friends list. <gasps> okay, no, but bitch. <laughs> no. Here, okay, just hear me out. And then the second thing is that when Joanna was cold, she uh, she borrowed a. Uh, a hoodie from Kelly's boyfriend. Yeah. And, 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 and the thing is she hadn't, she kept it for two weeks and kept posting on her close friends with that, wearing that hoodie and, and kind of posting uh, like with, she's wearing the hoodie and she's pants, pantsless. She's in a so it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like an, um like, Thirst seeking as throw thirst trap and like seeking a tra uh, attention type yeah, yeah. post, right? Mm -hmm. Subliminal Anyways, messages. Exactly, exactly. And the third thing was that she woke up early to give her boyfriend a sandwich before he leaves to work. What? Oh no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. And so she was she was saying all of that. And then Joanna comes up with her TikTok. But the thing is, Kelly never name dropped Joanna. Joanna just decided to come out and like try to be like, hey guys, this is my side to the story, you know? And her her basically her, the first reasoning was that close friends is is not a big deal. She was like, I add everyone to my close friends list, like, you know, whatever. And the second thing was I just thought the hoodie was really, really nice. Like it was a really, really cute hoodie and I'm notorious for keeping hoodies. So like it, you know, yeah, like it, it, was, it, like took a, me it was like a basic hoodie yeah, too. Yeah, but, but yeah, people found out that it was just a basic Nike black hoodie. Mm -hmm. And then the third thing was the sandwich thing. She was like, okay, so Kelly's boyfriend helped me mount this TV. So I was very grateful and, and to show my gratitude, <laughs> I wanted to give him a sandwich at a place that he really likes, which was right next to my house, uh, right next to my work. And she basically, what was weird was that she, that, that sandwich place is next to her work, but she, after work, she, she bought the sandwich, went back home and the next morning she was she told him to pick it up. So it's like, what's the point of buying a sandwich if you're not gonna if you're gonna make him drive to your house to pick it up? You know what I mean? What is, no, what is that? What is that so she invited him over basically to get the sandwich. Yeah. But they're roommates, this girl and her This girl and yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're roommates. I don't know if they were roommates at the time. I don't know if they clarified that. But yeah, they were What's the general consensus? Uh, people are shady. siding with Kelly, but the only thing that people are saying is, Kelly, why didn't you tell her how you felt? Instead of ghosting yeah, her? Yeah, like if you had if you had talked to her about your boundaries, then maybe Joanna would have been okay with it. But Kelly, a year after this incident, Kelly comes out and and talks about this on a TikTok, mm. which is kind of like, why didn't you? Why didn't you? That's exactly what I do. I saw I fucking just talk about shit that happened in my life a year ago on this podcast. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess, I guess. But okay, but Sometimes what do you guys you think? Want views. But what do you guys think? The first thing that she does with the hoodie, I mean, with the with the close friends list. I think, think she's definitely trying to fuck your boyfriend. I'll beat that bitch up if I was you. Oh, not to mention the boyfriend's picture came out. And right, everyone, and he, everyone was like, "Damn, Joanna, I understand. Fuck. I understand why you did what you did. I would do that too, you know." <laughs> <laughs> I, I never, I never seen the internet switch that yeah. fast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was a bad guy. The internet be switching fast. Too. Wait, wait, what was he like? Explain him. He's, to he's like details. a buff Asian guy, like. Oh, and he's Asian, my king. No, no, no. well, they're all Asian. Hey, you oh, know what's sorry. funny? You know what's funny? You probably have mutuals with these people. Like, probably. Yeah. yeah I have mutuals like, with them. Really? Yeah. I want to hear from the source. Can we yeah. get them on here? I was just saying that. I was like, Joanna and Kelly, you need to come out here and duke it out. Yeah, wait. Joanna and Kelly, if anyone knows I'll, Joanna, Joanna and Kelly. Joanna, I'm on your side, and if everyone's against you, then I'll run. Is Joanna the, the husband stealer, the boyfriend stealer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, possibly <laughs> a good hoodie. <laughs> if you like a hoodie. Too. Can I? Asian guy. I want to see the guy. Okay. Can, we, can I show you later? Or? No, no. I want to see you right okay, now. Okay, fine. Well, anyways, so what do you guys think about the close friends thing? Okay, so I think that's. 
But yeah, you find it because she's she's kind of leading this segment. I think that's weird as fuck to add your best friend's boyfriend Here. to your close friends. Your best friend's boyfriend to your close friends. Let me see this motherfucker. <laughs> I'd make a sandwich for this <laughs> motherfucker too. Is he hot? He's just like a buff Asian. No, no, no. You gotta no, find the right hot. pictures. You gotta find the right pictures. Yeah, this is just a video of him lifting. How do I find the better pictures of him? Is this the them? One, yeah. The one posted yeah. on Twitter, Oh, yeah. Twitter, Paul Yoon. Click on his page. Paul Yoon. Why does that sound familiar? Oops. Okay. His name is Dr. Pussy. Go back to his TikTok name. Go to, go no, to his TikTok no name. No way is his go name. Look. Dr. Pussy, man. What do you think that... All right, Mr. Paul Yoon. Are you hot? You were wearing I'm a Leon Dior. I found it. I found the pictures. I found the pictures. Nah, this yeah. guy's pretty hot. Look, 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 look. You got to see these ones. Oh. 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 These are slutty as fuck. This slutty man... Slutty as hell. This guy was asking for it. Mm. How are you posing like this? And giving out your hoodies. Ain't no loyal man posing like this. And he's also giving out his hoodies to his girls. No, Lydia, <clears throat> Lydia Dupra, she actually commented and she was like... I, he should have never given her the hoodie. Yeah, I like, agree period. with that. I, I agree. That's crazy. Let that bitch be okay. cold. Wait a second. As a girl. Uh, my SpaceX hoodie. Emily has my SpaceX hoodie from the Thanksgiving party. She. You should have that. never given it to her. No, I'm just kidding. I need that. That's my favorite hoodie. Okay, I'll tell her. Okay. I hate when motherfuckers leave with my shit. just had a freak out mid-podcast about tight. a SpaceX hoodie. I would, no, I mean, All right, so I agree. She Man should never have like given... The hoodie. No, no, actually, he, he lives with do I agree? So I, like, I Okay, the only... The only Let's Way? say you and Jeremy are dating. Let yeah. me give you a scenario. Yeah. Your best friend, let's say Jess is over. Yeah. It's freezing cold outside. She's got to go somewhere. I will let her freeze to death. No, no, no. I would, like, start it, hitting I would be jets. like, I would be like, oh shit, I'm warm. Hey, Jeremy, like if I'm, if we're at his house, right? And he has hoodies, I'll be like, hey, Jeremy, can she borrow a hoodie? I would say no. Loyal man. I give her a hot. Wow, so you're trying to trick him. Not, no, 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 no. I would because that's my friend. I don't want her to be cold, right? Exactly. But, but let's just say, I don't know what happened, but if Joanna was to ask her, her uh, Kelly's boyfriend and Kelly's boyfriend was like, sure, then I'd be like, why did you ask someone's boyfriend for their hoodie? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Why didn't well, you go through you? the same situation though. Yeah. No, but for, for me, like if Jessica was like, I'm cold, I'd be like, oh shit. Okay, let me see if, if Jeremy has a hoodie. Like, I kind of said okay to that. Oh, yeah. And it's, hey. di it's different. Yeah. Wait, so you have mutuals with this guy? Oh, you have eight mutuals. Oh, I know all these people too. What hey, the fuck? Hey, try to get them on the show. Hey, we all three of them? Just call all them right now. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna video call him on Instagram. Yeah, yes, do it, do it, do yes, it. yes, yes. But this is from Esther's account. He's probably most likely to answer you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna video call him no, and see if it works. No, he's gonna. No, I don't wanna no, no, be. No, no, no. We don't want him on. We want. Oh, shit. <laughs> No answer. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> He's spam calling him. <laughs> oh. I think it's an automatic no. note. Like it, it just. Dude, he, she's gonna him. make a story time of me say <laughs> uh, of me like being like this one girl. Hey, you probably know her. Hey, please no, answer. stop, <laughs> Jeremy. Tell him to stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, wait. I did call him twice. <laughs> You're not kidding. No. Here, Should I not have done that? Why would you let him? Watch. I'm. Man, yeah, the <laughs> hey, Esther gets involved in the drama. This is what we need, Esther. Yeah, yeah. We're doing this for the team. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Time out. Let's go point by point. We all agree that adding your friend's bro girl to no, we all agree that you're adding your friend's Why girl. My bad. Damn. Hey, I'll, I'll Kelly's got us in the worry, story. Don't worry. I'll call him now. What's his Instagram? Oh, uh, yeah. Pro anyways, anyways. So, yes. I don't think the close anybody. friends is weird if you do truly add everyone to your close friends. I know a lot of people who add me to their close friends. Like, I barely know you. I'm yeah. on your close friends. Yo, I got good news and bad, bad news. What, what? It's just forever stuck on confirming. Restaurant hasn't accepted the order. What's the good news then? There's no good news. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm hungry, man. My brain ain't working properly, but I'm Let's not going to- Let's get Poo 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 Sus? Yes. No, 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 Worst no. comes to worse. We'll just- What's this dude's Instagram? I want to call him. Here. No, it's chilling. It's ordered. You're fine. Any Paul? Says we sent you order for final confirmation. And oh. when it's it gets P there, that means it's confirmed. No, it's fine, man. They're, they're Chinese. They just don't, they don't play by the rules. Oh, okay. You'll just see it coming one t at a certain point. Okay. But um, all right. Now I'm gonna call him. <laughs> call him. All right, call his ass. Hey, I'm so. Hey, 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 wait. Can we can we call the girls? Why do call we the girls, Vic? Call we, the girls. We would rather right, have the girls on. on. We would want the friends on to mend it versus wait, wait, the guy. Wait. The guy's just gonna be him. like, haha. Yeah, I give him my hoodie. He's calling? <laughs> no, I can't call him. How'd you call him? And no, it like let it just hang. It just banged it right away. I think he has that setting off. Like you can't call him. If I think he just wished this to his shit to nobody can call him. Wow. Yeah, because. 
Because now I'm a creep. Kelly's over here like, let me just tell you about this one time. Where's Kelly at? Some, I'll call her. Some yeah, insta thought tried to. <laughs> call my man. Yeah. Hey, You're the insta thought, actually. Hey, be like, we are contacting you from one of the biggest <laughs> press media outlets, and we want to get to the bottom of this story. We want to have both of you on. Maybe I should ask my friend, like, hey, you yeah, know this yeah, girl, yeah. right? Like, ask her if she wants to be on the podcast. Um, oh, even if we get one of them on, then the other will ha- one will have to come phone calls, on. phone calls. Tell, ask them if they'll call in, because I don't want them sitting Vit, here for a Vit whole episode. But uh, anyways, I think the hoodie was fine as well. Until she posted a picture, until she posted a picture on the close friends with the hoodie, yeah, I think it was all good. Bro, she had she had that hoodie for two weeks and just posting it, and like. I oh, she was taking times, multiple photos. Multiple, like she would just outside just, of close just, friends. Yes. Or oh, I grimy. think it's just close friends. Grimy. Sure. At, at that I, point, everything becomes grimy because of that. Those actions by itself, not grimy. That made everything grimy. Okay, but what about the sandwich thing? What do you think about that? That also he mounted is grimy, a TV. but only because of it's grimy. Only because I know she's posting in the hood, all the, like all that shit. Okay, I see. Yeah, I see. So it the wouldn't. It wouldn't alone be. Is it wouldn't nice be. Thing to do. Yeah, if I fucking mount your TV for you and you're not going to even feed me, fuck you, bitch. No, but I would. <laughs> but I would feed both. I would feed my friend for allowing me to True. use her boyfriend. Use her True. boyfriend, being like, oh, thank you. You know, I'm not gonna just get a sandwich for for him and, and I tell live him to with come her. Over. And I live with her. What the hell? If, that, if that's your best friend, you be like, yo, bring your boy, your boyfriend over. I'm like, got sandwiches for you guys because he mounts the TV. The direct line of communication is also weird. That's what I'm saying, dude. I would not even. I wouldn't even hey, ask. Honestly, it's the boyfriend's fault. The motherfucker posing like a Ooh. slut. Why are you Stop. hanging up random women's fucking mounts? Okay. Why are you breathing around other women? Yeah, what the fuck? Why are you not asking your girl for permission uh. everything you do? Why wouldn't you get your hoodie back immediately? Why wouldn't you knock her ass out the second you seen her post on Close Friends with your hoodie? Kelly's over here like, that's true. That's yeah. true. <laughs> Kelly, we're on your side. Kelly, get on the show, Kelly. But, but... We always got to hear both sides. So Joanna, you could come on too. Yeah, yeah. Joanna, we, you could. We're gonna have boxing we, gloves ready for you. I'm boxing you myself. <laughs> we could have. You could have a better, you know, better story if we go deeper. You know, it's true. So, it's true. Yeah. No, but overall, I just think that she has a lack of self awareness or lack of because, respect for boundaries. Because because the thing is, this is very obvious. Lack of awareness for boundaries. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because this is very obvious. Something that like you shouldn't do. Like you just didn't have to do all that. Like she's yep. going. Above and beyond. Yep. All right. Hey. Oh, I had a question. But hey, someone reach out on, to them though. For real. Let's wrap it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's back with everybody's favorite exclusive segment, Old Dollar show, Store so Therapy. Hey, we were slacking a little bit because we were focusing so much on original content, but we're back and we're going to go weekly for you guys. Yeah, every week we're going to do this for God knows how long until and I want to kill you're myself. You're going to get all the answers, the, the full things on the bonus content platform. So if you're on the bonus content platform, drop questions, I'll make threads. And we answer and those Discord. questions first. Go to Discord or there's Discord, there's a master thread and then in the back end, stop, stop, stop. This new hat, man. And then the back end, there's a... Uh, Threads for you guys to write questions. Food, by the way, it's coming. All right. Anyways, first question. Said the dasher is at the restaurant. I have a girlfriend dashing through the snow <laughs> in a one horse open sleigh. Come on, we don't have that much time. We gotta, we gotta get our shit done. Laughing all the way. Laughing all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I have a girlfriend that I find attractive, but not attracted to. I enjoy her presence in a friendly manner, but I'm scared of moving forward with our friendship because one of us might eventually catch feelings and the friendship will come to an end. It's a girlfriend. Okay. But the thought of even ending the friendship right now makes me sad, so I don't even know if it's worth ending. I've only known her for three weeks, but feels like I've known her for years. Damn. Yeah, I know this guy's... You a simp. Yeah. For a friend. You a a frimp. But, um, (laughs) But the thought... I've only known her for three weeks. We basically have linked every single day this past past, past past month and have spent hours texting each other on certain nights. But I know that oh, but I know that we are both not into each other because we both talk about our own situationships to each other. And I even introduced her to one of my friends because she found him hot. Damn. So what the fuck is I'm problem? so lost on what to do. Please help. Do you guys believe guys and girls can be friends with each other even if they find each other attractive? No. Wait a second, though. In the beginning, he said he's not attracted to her. Yeah, no, that's he. And that concludes the end of the show. If you guys want to see end the full the dollar store therapy segment under the influence.show, we prioritize all of our uh, 
under the influence that show patrons <laughs> first. So if you want your questions answered, that's the easiest and best way to do it. It's also where you'll get all the bonus uncut uh, content that we're doing. We're doing original content and just some other stuff in there. Yeah, Fun there's stuff. Just constant extra content in there. Uh, and it is you'll one get of the first best access way. to the merch too. Nice. It's one of the best ways to support the show. First access, baby. Thank you, guys. We love, love you. Love if you love us, like, comment, subscribe. Supporting our products supports the show. Subscribe right now. Time. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, now. subscribe right now. Now. Do it. Notification bell. Please. Do it. Please, please, please. please. Okay, please. thank you for doing it. I saw you do it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Nectar, Nectar Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.